everybody. Anybody catching this on uh, YouTube or uh, watching live on Twitch? This is Wild Griffalo, and uh, this is Marcel Marceau. A genuine tobacco farmer. We're playing some RP for pre pretty much the first time. I've done a little bit of RP. I, I played like not RP in the gaming sense, uh, or at least the, the video gaming sense a lot. I've done a lot of uh, like Dungeons and Dragons or Shadowrun or like tabletop RPG. Or I've done a lot of solo RPG on like PlayStation or PS2 or N64 even or the earlier days on doing Final Fantasy and such. But this is a, a different type of RP. This is full on role play. I gotta manage my hunger, manage my thirst, my stamina, my health, my horse. I, oh, we, we own a horse, by the way. That is uh, Leonard. He is our horse. Let me make sure I got eight of these going. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need two more. And we are growing tobacco. And uh, it is actually a quite unreal tale of how we've gotten here. We are we we were extraordinarily poor. Uh, the first day I, I I played on the server, I got robbed. I got tied up. I watched a man get his head blown off. Uh, I wrestled some alligators. There, a lot happened in my first day. I lost a lot of money. Uh, we were negative nine dollars after the first the very first day of playing and. Uh, I've turned that into $116 today, purely through growing tobacco, <laughs> Toba tobacco and cotton. And I've managed to do a lot of it trying to figure out on my own, which has been a pain in the ass. Uh, but there have been a lot of helpful players along the way, uh, giving me tips and hints and tactics on how to how to do things. And we're, it's early in the morning. No one is on. I've never seen this field empty. So we're going to take like full advantage. So I got eight tobacco crops. Should, be, should give me like a full stack. And then I want to do a couple stacks of cotton. Because we're going to need both of these for our, uh, for our industry here. We're growing tobacco. And then to package it up, we need rolling papers and cotton together with the b tobacco. We need a majority of tobacco. I don't know why the cotton grows this way. So, so don't be mad that it's not pretty. I did I did the tobacco in a line. I tried to make it pretty, and then the cotton just wanted to do its own thing. Maybe I can maybe I can do the tobacco or the cotton this way. And more than likely, some uh, some other folks are going to be showing up in this field. Uh, there's a nice Spanish guy that I was talking to before the uh, the storm, which is basically the server reset every six hours on the server. Uh, I was talking to him, and he said he'd probably be back, so I'm expecting him to be the first person to show up in this field, but we'll see. But yeah, we are Marcel Marceau. We are from Louisiana, and we are just trying to make it here. And uh, we are in the city of St. Denis, or St. Denis, if you uh, are uh, not great with language. There's somebody right there. Hey there, partner. Nah, I can't hear you if you're talking to me, sir. You doing all right there, sir? Yeah, something might be wrong with your uh, your voice there, my my friend. I can't hear anything you're saying. Yeah, you're welcome to farm here, but your your, uh, your little voice box there might be broken. Might want to take a look at that. I think his uh the sound options are messed up. It happens to happen to me. 
my sound was super screwed up when I first started. And then then this my second day, I restarted, turned everything on, and my all my sound options had reset completely. Oh, he's growing carrots. I have one carrot left for so we you need carrots for your horse. So uh I might I might ask him to trade some carrots for some cotton or to tobacco maybe. But there can only be 30 total crops on this field. I have no idea how much cotton we're doing already by how it's growing. I think we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we have 8. So we have 13. We'll do two more of something. Because I don't want to wanna take over half of the whole field. So there can only be 30 total crops. So maybe I'll just knock out two cotton. Before he gets more carrots down. I don't even think we need the cotton to be honest. I think I have a good amount on my horse on Leonard here. But it doesn't hurt to grow some. All right, there, feller. Good to see you back again. As as to see you, you're Mr. Cotton, right? You, know, you got you got the hat on this time. I couldn't see your eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was Mr. Cotton. We met him before the server. Server is it? Uh, oh, hello there, sir. Hey there, fellas. Hey there, feller. What you okay. trying to grow? Well, I'm trying to grow uh, a livelihood, but uh, that that doesn't work too well around here. So I'm just growing cotton and tobacco. Well, does it sell good? You know what? I was a uh, negative nine dollars in debt at the beginning of the day, and uh, I've made a couple hundred dollars uh, ever since I started the t tobacco game. So it's a pretty good uh, it's a pretty good trade. Well, yeah, I've got cotton seeds, but I'm being I'm too lazy, you know, to grow them. Well, if you grow, uh, if you grow maybe like two thirds tobacco and then like one third cotton, and then you take them over to the processing plant, and you can uh, turn them into a crate, and then you can sell them over at the shop down here, and you can make a couple hundred dollars. Well, uh, where's the processing plant? Here, let me look at my map real quick. Is it the one down in Rhodes? I've heard there's a processing plant. Uh... So there's one, there's a cotton processing plant, a little wheel down in Rhodes uh, that you can do for cotton. But uh, in between here uh, and Rhodes, if you look uh, near Caliga Hill, Caliga Hall, a little yep. bit of right there where all them 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 five uh, okay, wheat, okay, wheat fields okay. are, there's a okay. tobacco processing plant. Yep, yep, I see it. And if you go there and you take some cotton, put it in the in the top middle, and then you take some uh, rolling papers and make a little V underneath the cotton, and then you take your tobacco and do a little C, you know, one, two, three, four, five C underneath the tobacco in your uh, in your hammer menu there on the on the crafting, you can okay. uh, you can make all a crate. Right, all right. And they sell for like two hundred dollars, you said. Well, I sold. Uh, it depends. I sold maybe. Okay, I'd okay. say. Let's see. I'd say you get for every sixty-four tobacco, you can maybe with with maybe like four thirty-four to cotton, you can make a hundred dollars. So, but that it okay. it's quite easy. It's every fifteen minutes you get about sixty-four well, yeah, tobacco. Okay. Better than nothing. Yeah, I was dirt poor. I was starving to death earlier, and now I'm. Now I'm in the game, you know. Okay, okay, that's good to hear. Cause it's been oh, tough out man. here. No, and I'll tell you about it. Especially I... just trying to sell stuff to the saloons, you know. They, they, everybody's got a list and stuff, so it's hard to. You go down to the saloon down here in Saint Denis. Which which one? Uh, the, I don't know. Bastille. 
I believe so. There's a nice lady named Miss Miss uh, Tilly, and yeah, she Miss runs she, Miss Tilly. Yeah, she runs the place, and she'll uh, she'll pay you to chase cats out of the place, or uh, bring over some fish or pork or things like this. Okay, okay. Well, we appreciate all your help, sir. Uh, absolutely, you look like fine right. gentlemen. Anyone wearing suspenders is very trustworthy in my books. Oh yeah. Well, well, people we sure around town, uh, stay that way. Yep. We're just trying to make an honest living out here. Honest. All right, fella, you have a good day. All right, you too, too, gentlemen. You just look for them fields, grow some stuff, and then take oh, it over wow. to the processing plant. Yeah, you got a, you got a good book going on. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, This game is so fucking weird. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like you just run into weird people, like teach them kind of some of the ropes. I, I honestly forgot I was even streaming. So yeah, you teach him. Like I think that's an NPC. I don't know where the guy that grew these carrots went. Oh no, that's him. That's him. But he his voice box isn't working. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Let's see. Those are some nice, some nice dudes. I taught them some things about uh. How to grow crops and how to turn it into something. Oh, this guy's doing the whole water gig too. I, I gotta tell him. It doesn't really matter. Hey there, feller. You're trying to water them crops there. It doesn't really matter too much. And there's a lot of water in the ground already. You can just kind of wait out the time. It'll just make them a little, little tastier. You not talk there, feller? You got something wrong with your head? All right, well, I like you anyway. And call you Mr. Bucket. Yeah, he likes that, see? Mr. Bucket. Your buckets of fun. Mr. Bucket. Growing carrots a ton. There he goes. Mr. Bucket. He's on the lawn. Oh. So if you if you look down uh, on the bottom left corner of the screen, when when my character is talking, there'll be like a green uh, microphone will light up there. I don't think anyone's around to hear me. <laughs> and I can adjust. I think I can adjust the volume of that. I can I can like whisper to people or talk. Uh, a little bit louder to people or like it kind of changes the range of which I can talk to people at. You mind me borrowing your horse, fella? Uh, man, I mean, Leonard doesn't really like men. She's a lesbian, so um, she probably won't oh, like uh, two dudes on her at once. Fat ass brother just had a stroke. Oh, oh my, my dick. Bad. Oh, my, my <laughs> whole dick just got kicked. That was my whole dick. Holy shit. I tug it down the left leg pant and you my got bad. it. Holy oh, crest. The head and everything. Oh, bad my God. Ass. What do I do? Oh. oh, let me just, uh, my brother let me just squat here for a second. So, uh, I mean, my brother just had a stroke. Uh, oh, oh, my man. God. Does he, need, does he need a doctor? Yeah. Gotta I take think... him to a doctor real quick. Oh, my fucking doctors, dick. There's likely no doctor around, I'm, I'm sure of that. Yeah, there okay. aren't more, many doctors around this early. It's, uh, it's like the poor people era, you know? Oh, should I just go bury him then? I mean, there's a nice lake over there. I don't know. I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know much about this whole uh, religious experience kind of deal. Well, I'll make sure I give him a good burial. And just He'll be missed. Just uh, tuck them fingers in a little tighter, and he'll he'll remember it well. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. I, I, otherwise, I would give you my horse, but uh, he's my means to making money right now. So. All right. You're nasty, brother. <laughs> I mean, you, you kicked me right in my dick. Uh, I mean, I could have tucked it in the other leg, and you, know, you would have missed completely. But you you nailed it. It really it, it did not feel very good. Well, I kind of get cramps every now and then. 
Well, I mean. Anyways, uh, uh, I think the doctor's on the way, so uh, we'd be fine. Uh, my dick is swollen, so if a doctor's going to come, and uh, he's well, going to look at my dick. Check on your dick. It's, it's, it's definitely swollen. All right. Well, can, can I see how swollen it is? Hold on, let me remove these chaps first. Oh, oh, nope. look, look it looks like it's so swollen, uh, my, my whole legs are gone. Uh, no, nope. yeah, you can't really tell. Uh, uh, we're just gonna keep them under the pants. Oh, they look just fine to me. You'll be alright. You, you see this little boy running with the water pail? Yeah, I see him. Yeah, he uh, he can't he can't talk much either. His uh, voice box doesn't seem to be working. Uh, and I yelled at him, told him, "Hey, man, your voice box don't seem to be working." And he just uh, and then I told him, "You know, water doesn't do too much to these crops. Doesn't make them too much more valuable." Uh, what are you doing? You doing anyway? Well, uh, I might just be deaf. Stupid is the stupid does. Well, he could be deaf or. Uh... Just, uh, damn stupid. Uh, I think he's kind of stupid. Well, doctors, uh, doctor should be here. Here he is. Howdy there, is that the injured patient? Holy shit, this... Wait, that's a man. Stroke. Oh, damn. Sir, where are you from? From Strawberry. No, no, the doctor. The doctor uh, right here. Well, I don't know. He doesn't look from town. No, I'm not having a doctor look at my dick that I don't know where he's from. Well, I got my oh, boy I'm from the Lemoyne area. So. He got oh, the, the, the Lemoyne uh, gang knows a lot about penises, so I'm, I'm very comfortable now. Yeah, I was going to say, if you met those folk from Blackwater, they're pretty outrageous. <laughs> Yeah, this gentleman right here, he uh he kicked me right in my dick. I had it tucked down the left leg and he uh nailed it. My love, if you're not giving me reasonable like you know, things to work with, I'm just gonna nancy you. Yeah. Uh, well, that's all right. I'm just gonna pick my tobacco. My, I'll tuck it down the left leg. So uh, he had a my brother heat gonna make it. Overheating. Yeah, yeah, it's just Hey, feller. Yeah, you're like one of the mute mute fellers, huh? Hey, can I get some carrots? Uh, if you guys have some extra, my horses are kind of hungry. If not, no worries, feller. Couple hours, so if y'all do have any injuries, um, I would say get to the doctor's office before alerting me because I would be traveling between um, roads, uh, St. Denis and Ensburg. All right, sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right, he seems pretty hydrated.
Chad, if I forget about you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is like a super new experience for me. I'm really trying to focus on RPing and even even just picking crops is like a lot of brain power to exert. <laughs> it doesn't seem that way. It was like, okay, I'll, I keep thinking like, okay, they're talking. There's something happening over there. I need to make sure that if, if they talk to me, I don't do something stupid. And there's this guy who I have nothing, no idea how to deal with because he well, is... Uh, um, yeah, and we need to boil some water. We can try to snipe some... Uh, Rock cotton, where are we at? Okay. Too much. I, 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 I oh, appreciate sorry. that, doctor. Oh, you're, you're all right, right doc. Yeah, sorry. I think it's 64 is a stack. You're okay. Well, thank you so much. Y'all be safe out here. You too. I'm going to sit down here, Felix, okay? Let's see if I can put like 32 on the horse. No, your bull's all right, sir. Yeah, they're feeling a okay. Um, uh, what, what size shoe do you wear, by the way? Size uh, 44. Well, <laughs> oh boy, you got some large feet. Because I got a size 44 penis, and uh, they it just met up equally. Well, what you trying to say? I mean, uh... Well, your shoe fits my penis. Is, uh, that's, that's pretty much all I got. Well, did you like it the first time I kicked you? you no, know, uh, my balls went back into my butthole, and that kind of that kind of stung. Well, that's happened to me before, and that's why my voice got stuck like this. Are you two, like, brothers or cousins or yeah, something? Yeah, brother. I'm T-Bone. And I'm Bill the Butcher. Bill the butcher and T Bone. T Bone, are you the are you yeah, the I'm younger right. one or the older one? I'm the elder. What the fuck happened to your hair? He's, he's, he's been through well, a guess, lot, uh, you know. He's uh, been I got rough, some rough bad guys. jeans. Well, so I'm. It was uh, it was uh, it was uh, one of those uh, Mexican girls, and uh, uh, my daddy was fucking around, and then and, and she was. Uh, yeah, she was. She wasn't in a good quality, you know. She ain't like she ain't like one of us. Well, my daddy was an alligator, and this is what happened to me. Oh, we've got the same airline. Yep, I think it's what happens when your mama fucks an alligator. I well, guess so. <laughs> well, golly, thank God my daddy didn't fuck no gator. I got the nicest little uh, look at my hair. It's like I just got me this hairdo. It's new. They call it a, a mullet. All, all, all them younger kids are doing it. And, you hey, know, for all the, for all the scales we're missing babies. on top of our heads, you should see the scales on our lower heads. Oh, <laughs> buddy. Mine yeah, is a little, I got a little pecker. You know, it's a little turtle. You know, I'm, I'm not too good, lucky with the ladies, honestly. Like, sometimes well, we I, got I, the I, alligators. Alligators, yeah. I, Alligator I heard penis. About fellas in Alaska fucking penguins, you know, but like, uh, I ain't never tried to fuck me a gator, I, 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 you know. Scaly penis. That sounds, uh, kind of, uh, kind of rough. Ladies, love it. Oh my goodness. Well, they sure do. It's the texture. It's the texture for sure. Well, how about that deaf boy over there? Did he talk yet? No, I hadn't heard. I asked him for some yeah, carrots because uh, my horse lost carrots and he uh, he bounced around and ran off. And I'm probably gonna just I'm probably just gonna shoot him soon because I got. Well, I have a gun somewhere. You want to oh, shoot that fellow thing. over there? Well, we can rob him if bad. you want. I mean. I can I can rob them for you and get all those them. carrots off of you. See this? I got a I got a gun. I can put it right to your head or like right to your head, and uh, and well, we all he might be scared. Well, yeah, what's he doing? I don't, I don't know what he's doing. I don't I, know. I, 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 can, I, can, I just want I like two carrots. Not not gonna lie. Right, I'm going over for it. I'll go tell him that if he don't say anything, I'm gonna rob him for carrots. And we're we're gonna rob them carrots, boy. 
Howdy, fella. Okay, well, he dropped eight carrots. Hey there, fella. Can I have them eight carrots? Don't say anything if I can have them eight carrots. Okay, he didn't say anything. I think you can have them eight carrots. Yo, boy, are you deaf or something? I think you might oh, not be good through. hearing. There, there's someone going through your cr crops over here, or, or is that your friend? You, uh, from around These ain't my crops, but I'll shoot them anyway. Uh, well, I don't know what he's doing. Hey, who right, who man. them there in these crops? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Why don't you pick up your rifle and then it'll 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 uh, probably fall out of your hand. Oh my goodness, no. Hey there, fella. Oh no, this that is Mr. Hurt. Cotton. Mr. Cotton's a great man. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah his his map is uh stuck to his hand. Hey, he could stick whatever he wants to his uh hand or face and uh he still be Mr. Cotton. Mr. Cotton, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Khan. Well, my name is Tommy Bone. My friends call me T-Bone. It's my brother, Bill. He's a butcher. Oh, Mr. Butcher? Or uh, just... Yeah, uh, the butcher Bill the Butcher and T-Bone. He butchers T-Bones. It's like a, like a family oh, steak business. Oh, that's good. Do you sell any steaks? Well, at the moment we do, but we're uh, our main sell we're selling it to Mr. Shepard. If y'all heard of him out of Rhodes. Wait, uh, it, uh, why the hell do I know that name? He's buying venison at like three dollars. Oh, that's good. That name sounds yeah. way too familiar. Have, yeah, have you been trying yeah. to uh, get to uh, the Vapiti um, outpost? I heard there is a good place to buy meat. Yeah. Where's that, you say? Okay, yep, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah, and it'll save me time from you know, going hunting all the all the animal all the animals that are, are fucking possessed out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Mr. Cotton. Thank you for that information. I've not been up to the reservation yet. For sure, you see, see my belly. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. They, they seem to be very good. Hey, deaf boy, if, if you want this rock yeah. cotton, it's all yours. I won't keep you. <laughs> you too. It's all yours, there, uh, deaf mute boy. Oh God. Hey, oh. hey get oh. your hand off. Now nah, he's screen. just giving me a beard massage. Oh God. Hey. I'm all right, I think, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty fucked. Let me, let me get you up quick. Ooh, what the hell? Did he, did he just choke you unconscious? Yeah, I thought he was just doing some braids in my beard, and uh, yeah, then he just started choking me. Oh hell! And he stole your horse? Uh, no, he didn't. Did, did, did he steal my horse? I don't know. Was it a dark horse with a red tail and a red mane? Ma'am, ma'am, help, ma'am, ma'am. Oh, can whoa, you do what? me a favor and help me out quick? Can you bring yeah, this fella to the doctor? He was choked by some other uh, dude who ran off. Uh, it was a choking I did not enjoy. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, 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 bring him out here. Bitch just, just, just shot him. Ah, it's doctor, I'm pretty new here.
The doctor, uh, the doctor was just in out Saint here. Denis. Yeah, he was just out here. I had a heat stroke earlier, and he helped me out. He said he's in Saint Denis. If you can please get our friend there. Yeah, you can just. Yeah, mighty uh, appreciate it, miss. Yeah, you can yeah. put him next to the. Uh, that fucking farmer. We, we were helping him out. We we got we helped him gather his water, his carrots, and we gave him a bunch of extra carrots, and we gave him some cotton. I offered him all him... the cotton I couldn't pick up, and then he choked me out. And he just choked him oh, out, wow. and, and 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 like Miss, I, I was gonna try to hawk time and take him to the sheriff, but that little little rascal, he just fucking got out of there. He got he, a horse. He now. may or may not have stolen my horse, my lesbian horse, Leonard. Oh my goodness, he did. He oh, took yeah, he took gonna Leonard. Look we're no, gonna go we're gonna look for him. him. It was it Leonard? Leonard, Leonard, Leonard is a dark horse with red red a red mane and a red tail and she's she's beautiful. She's a lesbian. Wow, he sounds like a nice horse. I wish I could have seen him. Man, Le Leonard's but, um, a, Leonard's a woman. Let's not let's not be let's not be misgendering. Hey, I I am not saying anything. All right. I'll take him to the doctor. All right, you take him to the doctor. We'll see you on the town. Thank you so much, miss. Oh, yeah, of course. Man, and what was your name now? <laughs> I'm Liliana. Nice to meet you. M Mithiana? Liliana. Liliana, okay, because I can only see two horse butt cheeks bl <laughs> blasting into my face over and over, so it's nice to have a <laughs> have a name to the cheeks, you know. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> My name is Marcel Marceau. I'm a, I'm just a humble tobacco man. Nice to meet you, Marcel. I'm so sorry this happened to you. No, it's okay. It's uh, it's the horse cheeks that are setting me off. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty nice, huh? They are just blasting up and down right into my eyeballs, and <laughs> yeah, it's quite distracting. <laughs> Alright, where's the doctor, 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 doctor? Oh, friends. Um, Couple of bodies. is there a doctor? Yep, there is one. Um, th this guy got choked, apparently, by someone. <laughs> 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 it, was, <laughs> it wasn't a fetish thing. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the good kind of choking. Yo, sometimes, oh no, you just accidentally go a little Here too far. Off. Hey, I, I know this bullet, bullet bill fella. I think hey, I know hey, him hey, too. Oh he, no, he I know both active. these fellas. <laughs> <laughs> you know Lee? Hey. It's Lee and uh, what was the, what was the other one? Lee and uh, Good. this guy's the dog puncher, if I'm not wrong, right? No, no, uh, the dog butt Ooh, polisher uh, dog, uh, from of Rhodes. You punching dog, sir? No, it was a, it, there was a there was a was gentleman a in Rhodes that said, "Hey, do not be kicking dogs." I said, "Whoop! <laughs> I might have mm, polished my boot on yeah, the dog one know. time." Yep. That's him. <laughs> oh I was arrested for uh, quite a long time for an accidental uh, boot You're polishing. Right there, buddy. Hey, let me go grab the doc's horse. Man, I can't believe these flies are still following me. You need to take a bath. Now, I took a bath yesterday, my first day in town. I had a young, young lad named Marty. <laughs> A young <laughs> lad named Marty washed me down real good. Some water, and then he just fucking choked out our our buddy and ran oh away goodness. and stole his horse. Oh, my friends what are still. My friends, the Bloodhound Gang, are still with what me. What the hell are you talking about? The T Bone Steak Gang. <laughs> yep, we ain't gonna just abandon you. Gotta make sure you're all right. All right, I get them in some beds, y'all. <laughs> oh, it's the attractive sounding male physician. <laughs> oh, is he? I mean, I thought it was a woman when he came to rescue you on the horse, and then it turned uh -oh. out to be a man, so I can't deny my attraction. If I was attracted right. before I knew it was a man, how can I how can I deny it? How, where should I drop him? Anywhere. Um, anywhere. Just okay. not on his face. Who knows what it'll do? Yes. Um. If y'all y'all see the actions to get on the bed don't because you'll slide under it and i won't be able to treat you okay, okay. i'm sliding nowhere sir the only thing that'd be sliding is this leather thong oh goodness this guy got choked out too. Was it that no no don't be yelling out out that that i got choked out in the streets we don't need the locals knowing about all this 
I'm a hero. I'm a, I'm a hero, Saint Denis. He does a really nice job of reviving you. How you doing there, Doc? Uh, I'm trying to get a read on your vitals, but you're kind of, you know, unresponsive. Yeah, it might be the, uh, there's a large, uh, gash in my, my inner thigh from some earlier activity. Oh, okay, okay. Um, think WASD, or flexor WASD muscles to look around spiritually. You can think slash me or slash her in responses to my probing. All right, I'm I'm all aboard that. So I'm now checking your vitals. I just need to know that you're stable and good. You should be because you're conscious. So you're speaking just fine, but I just gotta make sure. Yep, everything feels just right. Roddy, I'm gonna check for the injury that caused you to collapse. I will, I will let you know it is uh, below my nose and uh, above my knees. If you do decide to stay quiet for the next five minutes, I can decide the course of actions um, without cons uh, without your response. It depends so on what you like there, Doc. Cause I'm well, a, I need a, I'm a goddamn exactly lunatic. Do what happened to you so like i can give a reasonable like procedure well if i need surgery or if it's just some bruising well uh i i don't think i was in too rough condition until the uh, young man uh ran himself atop me and choked me out oh okay accidental strangulation got it so yes now that you're making me aware i do see the bruisings to your neck i'm just gonna make sure that there's no like internal damage this might hurt a bit because i do have to touch along the bruising oh that nah, wasn't too bad okay so your pain doesn't seem to be too severe i'm not feeling anything besides the slight bruising so I'm just going to go ahead and treat you for that. Oh, well, you seem to be a great doctor. You tell me. Hello, doctor. I don't know if I was supposed Howdy. to come in here. Oh, yeah, just saying. I was technically here somewhere. first. But, uh, no, it's my, it's my turn, playing. Purple Neck. Get out of here. Oh, wait, wait. You, you're those nice gentlemen from earlier. Yeah, the bull, bull Bill and his friend, and Lee. Yeah, you know, there's, there's room for us all. Yeah, I, I'm, just, I'm just a jealous lover kind of type. Uh, they're both Bill and Lee, so don't don't mind me. I really oh, hope Bull Bill isn't the patient. Right. The there's there's other no dogs side of around, the room. so I think we'll be okay. Yeah, if you can move the patient to the other side of the room, because I'm gonna have to get this one on their feet, and it's gonna might accidentally. Oh, All okay. right, <laughs> thank you, thank you, buddy. Uh, I guess he's getting me on my feet. <laughs> All right, not on my feet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Face down, ass up. That's kind of how I prefer it. I'm just going to make sure I didn't miss any other injuries to your body. Yeah, man. Might as well check the behind. Okay. No, besides the uh, strangle marks, you are okay. I'm going to get you back on your feet. I'm going to need your name. Oh, my and name is uh, Marcel Marceau. Marcel Marceau. M A R C E L M A R S O L. Uh, it is M A R C E L and then M A R C E A U. It is a French name. I'm gonna go back to farming because, you know, I got a little heart, you know, little puppy, little heart, little turtle, you know, I'm just a little man. You got that? Yes, I did. So on a um, scale of 1 to 10, what is your overall pain level at the moment? Well, I think I'm about a 2. Would you like any type of medication? Uh, unless you got some popsicles in here, I'm thinking I'm alright. Hot dough, okay. Hey, I'm not supposed to give you anything, Doc? Um, no. Besides that, no, no, no. We don't charge in the medical offices because we am work I, for the Am government. I allowed to give you money? You are allowed to tip, but that's not your discretion. That is a gift. That is not something we can, like, charge you for. Well, ain't that a thing? Um, but yeah, otherwise, you are good to go. Um, your strangulation shouldn't affect your farming. I do got you bandaged, so the numbing 
the herbal salve should There's help 15 you, bucks like, for your yeah, time, doc. The pain. Oh, thank you kindly. Yeah, so the herbal salve should help you with the bruising. Um, I would say give it like another sunrise or so. At that Careful there, Bill. Bill, this is my doctor. Your bruising should reduce and you should be able to take your bandages off. I would alone. never hurt a doctor. That's that's a war crime. I was about to get <laughs> oral oral know. herbal care or something like that. How'd you get choked out, man? No, nah, nah, that's not how I remember. I was a hero. I remember being a hero. Yep. I heard strangulation. Uh, yeah, I strangled three alligators, saved four little girls. Okay. That's why I'm here. I don't, I don't yeah, trust anything you say, man. I'm Marceau. I like you. Yeah, I'm Marceau. Marceau, I'm the hero of Saint Denis. It's not real nice to point, but. All right, I'm Marceau. Marceau, I'm the hero of Saint Denis. Save three little girls from four alligators through choke Sorry, holds. mental disorder. Hey, hey, don't let this guy in. He's weird. Oh, they're <laughs> locked. Yeah, they're definitely <laughs> locked on this side, too. I like your bullets, sir. <laughs> Thanks, man. They're just for show. I'm not going to lie. I don't even have a gun. You want to see something? I just like to pretend, like, you know. See, when that's you what say matters. Stuff like that, I got a gun. Shit. Check this out. Holy oh, 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 my God. Don't hurt me. Don't shoot in the oh, I'm. Yeah, that was a little weird, probably, huh? This chair. Nah, I might want to get out of here because that was probably stupid. But I'm a kind of. I'm gonna need to know is your pulse. Low, I'm kind of a stupid man. Shallow stuff like that. You can't just. Hey, don't tell nobody I did that, that okay? To proceed with that. That was like four dollars worth of bullets. Or you can stay quiet for five minutes, and I can just decide your course of um, treatment. All right, take care, Doc. What was that, Doc? I, I, I'll, I'll be this man's uh, care provider. Oh, we what a that was quite the time in there. Seeing <laughs> the right back. I don't even know where the hell I came from. Uh, from the field outside of uh, the town. I guess. Well, lady, you seem to know me more than I know me, so I'm gonna trust you. Oh God, it's done. <laughs> uh, I was pretty sure I was friendlier than that. Uh, give me one second. No worries. All right, there we go. Wasn't trying to grab you before. That was just me being uh, <laughs> extra friendly. I think your friends went this way. Yeah, that's pretty good news that I got friends. I think they're your friends. They kind of helped you out. Man, that's... I've only been in county for a day and a half, so uh, if I got friends, things are looking up. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty nice fellas. Yeah, I was pretty sure I was working for the saloon, helping some, some man give me other men baths. And uh, help with Miss Tilly. That was, that was pretty much all I had going for me. Uh, well, I was told she got choked. No, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, no! I choked Nothing out. Happened. I choked out four alligators and saved three children. Now that's the actual story. Let's not get it twisted. I'm, I'm, no, a, I'm, a no, like, I'm a hero. I'm a hero. From what I remember. Huh? I'm a hero. Yeah, I'm a hero. Yeah, that's what they were yeah, telling I, me. I, I didn't say you're not a hero. I'm just saying what happened. Yeah, what they yeah. told me what happened. Well, remember what happened uh, is that I was a hero and I uh, choked out three alligators and uh, saved uh, 25 children. I'm happy for you. However, you did get choked by another person and they saw your horse. Oh, yeah. Mm, that is actually something I'm a little concerned about. <laughs> oh, there they are. Oh, those are my, those are the oh, friends that I kind of have. I was thinking about you this whole time. <laughs> hey, you are my, 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 my perturbed, walk, my friends. Right? Hey, there. Like that woman, Marty, Billy you all right? Yeah, she thinks you're my friends. It's pretty cool. She, hey, she, uh, put, a per no. she put a purpose in my life. Did oh, the doctor God. treat you right? And I, I think it was fate that you got choked out and almost died, and I got to Whoa, 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 wait, wait, hold on a second. I choked out three alligators and they saved 25 children. 
ma'am, let me give you also a thank you bacon. Yeah, but he kicked me in the dick. Yeah, he did kick yeah, you in the dick. Yeah, that was uh, an honest mistake. He's got large boots. Yeah, they <laughs> say it's 44. So, uh, if if I were the man, let, 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 just just hypothetically, you know, if I were the man who was uh, choked out and had his horse stolen, uh, <laughs> how how would one get his horse back? Well, well where would we you stable him? Oh, I just gotta go down to the stable and uh, call for my horse? You gotta, it depends. Like, if you stabled it here in St. Denis, then yeah, you can do that. But, like, my horse is stabled up in Strawberry. Well, lucky for I... me, right before the storm, I went over to the stable of St. Denis and uh, put my horse there. Yeah, okay, same okay. here. Well, miss, yeah, y all, y all, y all I think we... Lucky. Oh, I think he's still feeling a little bit side of bed. No, I didn't get choked out. That was the, that was the alligators. Uh, miss, okay. would, would you be able to uh, ride me down to the stables uh, over yonder? Yes, of course. Come on. All right. Take good care of him, Liliana. Uh -huh, I'll try. I can barely take care of myself. That's alone. And you better behave yourself there, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'll behave myself. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Liliana, yeah. Till I see you again. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, wait. Hey, hey, bro. So you're you Thank guys are you. brothers, right? We sure are. What what was your last name? Just so I have an idea to call the the, the something brothers. Bone. The Bone Brothers. But we we're, we they call me T Bone and he's the butcher, so you could just call us the Butcher Boys. Or the Boner the Brothers. The Boner Boys. The Boner Boys. The Boner Boys. The I like boys. that one. Boner Boys. <laughs> Hard all day. <laughs> all right. Let everybody right, know that we're, we're we're helpful. We're all boned loyal, up. And, and we took care of you. Can't get harder. Yeah. <laughs> All right, stay safe, boys. Well, don't All get right, too hard boy. on the back of that horse. <laughs> hey, I'm gay, boner boys. All right. And my, uh, and my horse is a lesbian. Yes. Thank you so much for that bacon. You didn't have to. Oh, I mean, yeah, but uh, people help each other, so uh, we're good on that. No worries. <laughs> no yeah, worries. thanks, Mr. Right, Cotton. Stay safe, dancer. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Take care. You too. Bye. Yep, yep. Yeehaw. <laughs> so where are you from? Well, I'm from Louisiana. But uh, I fell off the train here in uh, St. Denis about a day and a half ago. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you started here basically in St. Denis. Yeah, started and uh, wound up naked at the saloon, and uh, they gave me some <laughs> opportunities. It was a, uh, it was quite a day. Hey, at least they gave you a job, or I hope to ask. Yeah, and I, I rode all the way here from uh, Strawberry, so. All the way from ah, you, you know what? I actually ran to Strawberry, and then uh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, some, some gentleman was nice enough to have bought me a horse earlier. So I have a horse, but uh, my horse was in road. So when I woke up and I had to run from Strawberry all the way back down the road, it, it has not been a great two days. I, I'm getting smarter by the minute, though. Hey, it's until you learn the little uh, tricks, you know? Yeah, I was negative $9 to the government earlier today, and now I have a couple hundred dollars to my name. So uh, things are getting oh, better. Wow. Yeah, nah, I'm broke. <laughs> I came here hunting. I need to, well, some I could, money. I could barely eat. So uh, if you need some money, I could definitely uh, throw some your way, miss. Nah, thank you, though. I like working for my own money. I mean, you are giving me a ride, so uh, I, can't, I can't say that you're not doing me right. <laughs> nah, thank you, though, honestly. All right. Uh, there you go. Thank you very much, miss. Yeah, welcome, sir. Mama know you're off the farm. He was very nice. Oh my god, my horse is actually here. Well, nice meeting you, Marcel. Marcel, right? Oh, well, this is Marcel. Yep, and and your name again was Liliana. Liliana. All right, yeah, I'll remember that. 
<laughs> what you what was your horse's me. name? I'm I'm, I'm good with horse names. Strike. Strike and Liliana. Yeah, um, I bought her from someone else, and they had already named her. So it's like, all right, I'll just. Yeah, I think it's a good way. name for this horse. It's a, it's a quite the striker. <laughs> yeah, she's something. Like all her. right, well, Liliana and Strike have a great one. You too. Thanks hey, for all the you. help. You're welcome, sir. Okay, my guy needs a bath, and we need to find some water. Where's my horse? There it is. We actually, you know what? We should probably buy a saddle, so we don't look like a fucking dumbass. Because we got 101 bucks. You a long way from the ranch, cowboy. Wait, what? Did I not do it right? I don't know if I did it right. Oh, there we go. What do we want? We want a saddle. 40 bucks. Actually, that one's kind of sick. Let's do that. 60. Oh, we had to rebuy the fucking saddlebags too. I mean, that's not terrible. Where the hell was it? Saddles. And I will be right back. I have the bathroom chat. Be right back. All right, I'm back. All right, so we, what do we need to do? Did I get my horse saddle? That's something we actually did. So we're down to $40. We need to get some water. Where the hell is my horse? All right, well, just resummon, <laughs> resummon it, I guess. This guy's always so mouthy. Oh my god, we have a saddle. Hello. Stop right there. Oh, sure. Hello, oh my, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what the hell's the going on here? I'm Let's sorry. Get off, get, get off of the horse. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, I just got on the horse, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> you gotta be okay. I'm gonna be okay. I've, I like getting tied up. It's kind of fun. Oh, nice. Glad you enjoy it. Hey, can you can you just be nice to my horse at least? Yeah, we'll take it with, uh, with us so you can take it off. Uh, she's a lesbian. She's a lesbian horse. So if you have any lady yeah, horses, you might want to get her away. They'll she'll tempt them. All right. 
You'll never be able to breed them horses again to no males. My horses, she's quite the getter. Yes, so we up. <laughs> so is this, is this like a bad thing for me? No, no we're not, we don't have to worry, you. sir, as long as the law is doing their job correctly. All right, fair enough. I, I appreciate that because uh, last time I got kidnapped, the guy the guy that tied me up got his head shot. He got his head blown off in like 12 oh, really? seconds. It was, it was pretty good. weird. Oh, you guys have your own entrance. That's, that's pretty nifty. Down the street. Alrighty. Oh, all right. Alright, that was my head on the on the marble. Can we grab the paintings right away? I don't know, let's see. So what kind of work you usually do, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, well, feller, you seem like some pretty mean men. I don't, I'm not sure I should be letting you know what I do, but I, I'm like almost a homeless man, if uh, if that helps. <laughs> so you don't have any work, I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much the most bumfuck person you could have probably picked up. I have no idea why I was targeted. It's like, we don't try to hurt our hostages, you know. It's more of a money situation. We need the money. We don't want to hurt people i mean if you're trying to get money you probably shouldn't you know kidnap homeless people that's probably not the best bet yeah but you know you know what the thing is there's an art gallery up here i wasn't going to no art gallery i was sitting in a horse stable yeah but up up here up the, up, uh, up above oh i see here, uh so underneath the know? entrance yeah in the gallery yeah, yeah, yeah. in the gallery with the, the finger pointing up yeah So, uh, Just, what what am I doing here? Am I, am I getting all my belongings taken from me? Am I uh, losing my no, virginity? No, uh, you're, you're, you should be fine, you know? Like, we only need you as reassurance that the deputies don't do anything stupid. Oh, so I'm like a, I'm like a tool to a, to a, to a plot. Like a tool, if you could say it like that, yeah. All right, that's pretty cool. I, I'm kind of into that. So, let, let me get it straight. Your horse is a lesbian and you're... A homo or gay or what? Now, no one ever said that. I just said I wasn't trying to fuck no ladies. Yeah, but like you're implying I'm being raped. No, no one's trying to put it in my butt. I I got my belt on real oh, tight. You, you were thinking about like that lady over there is gonna rape you. What the fuck? Hey, no one. Hey, hey, I would not mind that. I mean, unless she's trying to give me a drink at the same time, that might be a problem. Yeah. Uh, if she gives you a smoke afterwards, it might be you know. Yeah, is it, 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 I'm, if you I'm, get fucked, at least you'll like the smoke. Uh, I'm just going to ask a quick question. If I am uh, a bit parched and uh, on the verge of uh, being, uh, you know, in the red of thirst, is that bad mm -hmm. for me being tied up? Uh, it can be, yeah, but I can give you something to drink. Oh, that would be fantastic. You, see, I, I, will ask, I will ask for some backup so, like, you don't do anything stupid, you know? No, I, I'm, a, uh, I'm a pretty smart guy. Well, who's this feller? Hey, fella, help me out. Yeah, dumbass. Oh, no, he's, yeah, no, no, I, I wasn't talking to this dumbass. He's, he's leaving. He's a library boy. He needs a drink? Yeah, a drink, I, I, I gave him food. Oh, yeah, I could it's use a like drink. I'm, I'm pretty much a, a dried out piece of poop. Just use him time and let him drink the stuff. Here, let me help you. You hungry as well, sir? Uh, I've never turned down a meal in my life, miss. Yeah, I see you know, here you go. Some good food for you. It's the only way I grew to be seven foot four. Yeah, I'm gonna help you drink, okay? Uh, so when negotiating, oh, they're uh, down here already. All right. Howdy. So who's negotiating? Hi, my name is Patrol Cadet Mitty King from the Eastern Sheriff's Office. How are we today? I'm doing good, doing good. Yeah, right. Oh, thank you so no, much. It's... Oh, it oh, 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 oh. Look, it's not what it looks like, you know. It's not what it looks like. No, I'm, I'm having a like great that. time, sir. This well, is fantastic. Is that, don't mind me asking. <laughs> um, we found That's this guy tied up down here. Oh, well, we a woman. Trying to help him out, you know. I did not think my spine could bend so like this. Just trying to give him that. <laughs> Do you mind asking why you're wearing mask in town, then? Uh, it's it's something from upstairs. 
Like they don't like us. We're not allowed in there. So Dude, like don't that. they know this is I an art so gallery? You have a with people upstairs, don't you? Yes. Like you're you're art right, people, right? So your guys are just artists. Then? What's the disagreement? Yeah, we are. Um, we are. We basically, are. like yeah, I get it. I get it. And they didn't want to give yeah, us their paintings, so we eat some good as well. first we offered to buy them off of them. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, this is my this is my yeah, tasty miss. Time to get them. All right. So you're still getting some paintings out of the uh, building for the time being. Yeah. Then. Let me know your thoughts. All right. Most of these are some information. Is it just the one person tied up today? I'm you feeling have pretty good right now, but Miss, thank you, thank you for the food. Okay. And certainly, how oh, many of you and your associates are inside the if building? If you need today? anything, just let us know. Five, 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 I will. I'll be doing five, that, five, Miss. Five. Okay. Do you have anybody okay. outside of the premises as well? Uh, not as far as I know of. Not that you know of. Yeah, I don't believe you got. Somebody bought this place today. Hmm? Has anybody robbed this place today? Robbed it? Uh, I don't believe so, no. Alright. Alrighty, well look, just give me a moment. So, so I have a talk to uh, my uh, li lieutenant over mm -hmm. there, okay? Uh, yeah, I'll come good. back to you and we'll uh, get this show under the road. Uh, hostage isn't hurt at all, are they? No, no, I'm having a great time. You having a great time down there? Alright, too easy. All right, won't be a moment, so just going to talk to my uh, lieutenant, and I'll be right back with you. I appreciate your cooperation right, and right. patience with us, okay? Yeah, sure. Did she let you eat and drink? Oh, yeah, she fed me. It was, it, okay, it was wonderful. <laughs> she force-fed you. Yeah, yeah, I've never had a woman do that for me ever in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, am I married to her now? Is that is that how this works? I don't believe you are, though. I mean, I'm tied up. She's got me at her whim. She's feeding me when she wants. I think that's kind of like marriage. Yeah, usually, oh, uh, yeah, actually, never mind. It might be the case. How is it going upstairs, Red Face? Yeah, Red Face, let, let me know how the situation is going upstairs in the gallery. Eh? Well, uh, those paintings are, you know, stick to the places pretty are they? well. We can all right. I believe there's like this, oh, so... this cash register up there as well. You might okay. be able to take that. I could probably get up oh, seven four four hundred and fifty yeah. pounds, you know. I'm free, don't wanna rush you, my apologies. I'm sorry. Oh, this one uh, alright. Uh so look, we're uh, talking here, what would it take for us to uh, have that uh hostage returned to us or person tied up, given to us safely? Mm, I don't wanna go back. Uh how many of um, are there? Um, don't take me back to society. Yeah, three here currently, two more on the way. I like hostage eating better. Um how does 12 Mississippi sound to you? 12 Mississippis? Look, can I be a real pain in the ass here? Let, let's, let's skip oh, some like, be, back be and it, forth. Be it, be it. And look. <laughs> What's I going on? My boss doesn't hear it. Can you make me look really good in front of my boss? What, what if I got six Mississippis from you? Hey, hey, hey uh, while we're on the good good thing of uh, looking good in front of your boss, how about uh, I'm a hero in the end of the story? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. The, the Mississippi is what it be counted, so that's correct, yeah. Make make me a hero, though. Down for six. I uh, I appreciate it. You sir. want to be look, a hero? Yeah, yeah, I need to be uh, a hero. I can't be, be boss, I'll be right getting back. listed so as tied up more, in the uh, news, you know? How much more time do you need, by the way? We'll tell them that you saved a lady. You want to go find out for me, and then I'll uh, go talk to my boss, and then we can bring yeah, you That's what I'm talking about, brother. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you so much. Hey, how many coins left to count? We don't know, really. Hey, hey, partner. Hey, uh, how about yeah. we uh, organize with the lawman that I come out looking like a hero and not like a like a hostage here, you know? I don't know. It's funny, though. Like, the lawman asked me the same thing. Like, okay, do me a favor. I need to look good in front of my chief, you know? Yeah, I've been doing this every time. I've been involved in three incidents already, and every time I twist mm -hmm. it to make myself look like a hero. And, and I asked the so, little newsboy, and I never hear about so, myself. So how how do you want it to look like? You you get all of six of us while you're tied up? Yeah, no. It, it, let, <laughs> anything to do with well, me fine, not course. being tied up is probably a good start. Uh, anything with me not lying on the floor here for about twenty five minutes is probably good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, anything like oh the the hero of the Galleria, and then that's it. Like you, we don't even need a story. So just just, just the so title. You. My apologies. Uh, I'm not yeah, no, no worries, no worries. We're just having a friendly sure. conversation. Oh good. All right. Any ET at all? Understand? Uh, you know. Uh, what have I got myself into? Actually, how many right. left to count? 
Right, I just don't want to look like a bitch. <laughs> my my characters look like a bitch like every time that we've been in, in involved um, in anything. These, I'm just making wild assumptions here, so make sure. Are these four horses in the street your horses, by the way? Uh, the horse just down there is from the hostage. You know, yeah, that's Leonard. Horse. Leonard's a lesbian. Uh, don't don't, right the don't misjudge her. Yeah, 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 exactly. Right. And then so the, the two, two lying down fronts. are yours? Are mine or our and then this white one as well. I'm not yeah. even sure the if I should like okay. attempt to break free. Over okay. So these three horses yeah. are yours. These three. Yeah. Right. I'm just oh. trying to like keep hey, cool with like sure, RP. Like, you know. Start counting once we're on the horse is correct. Once the last one apology? gets. Once yeah, so the correct. From when the, when the, the last person is counting, on the yeah, horse, yeah, that's when yeah, we yeah, count. Just making sure, like. Like obviously, if like no, like if one person like rides off, then you know you'd blame the last person getting on. But then yeah. it's like you start counting or you just start doing stuff. Oh, we'll probably. Yeah. But then it's yeah. like we're not holding our part of the agreement, so you don't have to hold your part. Correct. How, how did I get yeah, involved in a hostage situation? Like, I was just then trying then to sell yeah, yeah, tobacco. Yeah, 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 perfect, perfect. I like it. I like it. All right, let me see. Well, appreciate you making me look good in front of my boss over there. Hey, don't forget about making me look good. Yeah. She's assessing me. Hey there, lawman, lawman. It's me, me, uh, hostage boy. You look like a oh my god. Yeah, I'm a man. I got, uh -oh. I got, I got manly, oh, no, the one on the right manly the features. Man. Sorry, the one on the left. The one on the left. Yeah, no. Alrighty. <laughs> Am I being um, I saw judged? You, you were giving him something to eat and drink before he's all good. They actually fed me way better than anyone's fed me <laughs> on this entire server. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm no. as full and as. Thirst quenched as I've ever been. I think they just want attention. I, I want I attention, want... sir. Uh, I would love some attention. Like, I, don't, I don't see how we can make you look like a hero in this. Situation. I mean, just just don't write in the papers that it was wriggling around on the floor or tied up. You know, that's probably the, the, the start I, I, of it. Yeah, I think he just wants to be loved, just like everybody else. You know, just say, hey, Marceau, Marceau, hero, uh, saved a bunch of children from the Gatheria, uh wasn't forced fed by some so, woman. Yeah, no, so, so, no floor stuff. Uh, no women no, no. feeding him. No dominatrix esque uh, stuff yeah. going on. All right, we're done. Sa sacrificed yeah. himself so the kids could escape. Yeah, yeah, sa yeah, save, yeah. The save the children. Save the children. That's all. That's all I've done here. All right. Yeah, I'm down for that. Uh, but I won't be. Doing oh man, there got some manly hands there with yeah. them white gloves on. All right, let that. me just confirm if I'm the one counting or not. I'll be right back. Thank you so much. Right, okay. Sure, sure. sure. You're counting the Mississippi's out? You don't have to be so firm with the left hand. I mean, you All can right. just ease up just a touch right, on that cheek. Uh, you know what? Uh, just drop so him my... across the street, not to run him over. My officer yeah. just to my right over here is just going to be the one counting the Mississippi, so I'm just going to back out from here, okay? Um, so I'm just going to move out of the way. <laughs> I called um, my horse. The road that's my horse. Than, uh, count the Mississippi's, all right? All right. Wait, not y'all. Yeah, that's my horse there. Could you move this horse? And that's Leonard. Leonard's very excited. What's going on with this Two, guy's horse? <laughs> dude, there's only Four. five of us. Hold on. Dude, as yep, long as one. I didn't lose any money and I didn't lose horse. any of my goods, I don't care. Like, it's one this is just no. a time no, no. crunch. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. <laughs> three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Go, 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 go. Don't leave me. Howdy, right, mister. Out of there, sir. Just go ahead and get my knife out. Let me make sure. I'm gonna be cuffing you just to uh, give you a quick search to make sure they didn't take anything. Uh, oh, okay. I'm okay. rather put something on you. Hey, if you want to put something on me, go right ahead. Cotton, tobacco, tobacco seeds, cotton. I can't even all open right, my inventory. You should be all good. Did they uh, feed you well? Everything good? Uh, they they fed me better than anybody's ever fed me in my whole life, sir. Oh really? Okay, what'd they give you? I have no idea. It was delicious. Some kind of alligator gumbo and uh, a bunch of water and some some lemon drinks. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Okay, good. So everything uh, everything went nicely. <laughs> yeah, they're. Oh my God! Place. I know these good guys again. Guy. I'm starting to see you too much. Yeah, it's Bullet Bill and Lee. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's uh, unfortunately good. your friend's been a hostage. Bullet Bill. I don't, I don't remember much. This last Bullet Bill, hour, right? So. This Bullet Bill right here. And there's Lee. <laughs> Lee, Lee got in an accident earlier, and uh, Bullet Bill saved his life. It was pretty cool. Thank you, thank you for pointing that out. Hey, check this out. 
I saved a bunch of children from this gallery in just about five minutes ago. That's true. I I, I was I, I could verify. About a hundred children. They're getting strangled. I ran in there, saved them, and then this lawman right here came and chased off the devil. Um, thank you Ain't that right, that lawman? I guess, them with yeah. I guess I guess so. They did have devil masks. Hero of Saint Denis. That's the last thing I want to be known for. No, I'll take all the credit. Uh, all right. Me, uh, well, all right, the hero. You stay, uh, you stay safe, and uh, I'll be. I'm away too. Uh, your horse is here. They didn't. They still. You still have your horse here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hey, uh, can I, can I borrow your gun? Borrow my gun? No, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, so. it looks pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, this is for protecting San Diego. Hey, there goes my horse. <laughs> I thought I thought you were associated with you would have allowed him. No, I don't know those guys. Oh, okay. I, that's Bullet Bill. Bullet Bill's uh who knows that guy? No one knows who Bullet Bill is. Oh, I see, I see, okay. He's probably gonna get lost to be honest. He's I know Lee. This is his first time here. This guy's Lee right here. Lee. Uh oh. I look he's back <laughs> Hey Bull Bill. All right. Well, oh, y'all have a so splendid sorry. day. I'll be on my way. Have a good one, y'all. Bye bye. See you later. All right, later, Mister Lawman. <laughs> How you guys horse? doing? What did you do this horse? What do you mean? That hmm. horse has about uh seven hundred dollars on uh in their saddle <laughs> there. Horse. You better find what are you that horse. About? Uh, I barely made it out of a hostage situation here, right here. Duck, duck, duck. They managed to not take my money. They managed to not what? take my goods. So, what? uh, is my horse okay? I don't know. I think it was around that corner. <laughs> come here, come here, horse. The fuck happened to your horse? There ain't no way. That horse is 14 years old. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it. What happened? Well, there? ain't this a shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't even open the bags on its hips. This is not his, good. What was his name? Well, this was Leonard. Well, this is kind of a this is kind of not good. Can you put him? <laughs> I decided hey, how, to do a simple how, prank. How, I didn't mean it to turn out this way. It, can you go? To, where's he at in your? Sta is it, what stables is he in? He's in the Saint Denis stables. We'll hope. Uh, we'll let's hope. Let's check. There's an yeah, actual let's... one there. Because yeah, I can't even check. get to the bags on this one, and uh, that's not good. Because uh, there's a, there is a uh, quite a lot of stuff in those bags. Yeah, let's go. You can check the. Yeah. Bad. You're. Hey, it was a free horse, so I don't really care. Yeah, put your shit on, though. Yeah, we can make it work. Yeah, it's 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 working for me. It's letting me open it. Try try now. I can Sometimes open you gotta it, get yeah. a different angle. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't see anything in the in the storage there. Oh yeah, it don't do anything. Yeah, you know? like it don't let you open. Like, it. yeah, I can I can see it, and then I can't open it. Yeah. All right. Let's go check the. Well, this is a bit. We'll just take a walk. Weak son of a bitch can't even trip over a wagon. Yeah, that, uh, that horse is pretty about, stupid. Uh, I can't how, lie. How about how about no more stealing horses? I didn't think he was gonna oh, die. Oh my lord. Uh... Hey, no worries. I got. I somehow I coaxed some people into buying that horse for me for free, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. But still, it's, it's awfully shitty. Yeah, but we'll get it I managed to talk some lady into up. selling uh, these two gentlemen three horses for three hundred dollars, and they gave me one one of them horses. Well, shit. Well, they like. Well, okay, well, shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm a good talker. Better than me, shit. Yeah, oh yeah. God. Usually, I just do the hey, you you give me what I'm saying, or this, or I'm gonna, or I'm gonna make it happen, you know. And I pull the gun out and put it there <laughs> <Bang, bang, laughs> like this, you know. I, um, still I make it go like a bang bang, and then and then they say, oh yeah. I still don't see how how that horse, how I don't. I don't know what happened. 
Uh, poor Leonard, 14 years old. You broke his neck too, didn't you? You son of a bitch. Now you're starting to make it seem like <laughs> look I at did my all fucking, this stuff on dude, purpose. Look at my neck. That horse is dead. Oh fuck, he's pissed at that dude. Uh, that guy's mad at me. Uh, that guy shouldn't be smoking. He was, he was watching you. That I saved your life. Are we forgetting with the part where I picked you up and took you to a hospital? A hundred feet and away. And paid you. A hundred feet away. I went to a hospital. Uh, I don't, I don't even know how I got the there. Street. You could have. That doctor got kind of angry with me. <laughs> I, I didn't know what I was doing. I had I'm to, sorry. I had to be your care provider. I thought that doctor was going to have sex with me. Oh, <laughs> it seemed like it, didn't it? <laughs> he wanted to. He was angry at me because I didn't know what the fuck he was. I was like, uh, huh? I had to take over. It's okay, brother. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, no, no talky talky if you're, if you're sleepy sleepy. You were unconcus. Unconcus, yep. Yeah. You have got to take that fucking cloak off. It's awful looking. You don't he look looks like, like a, a pa paladin dance. I don't know how he took that. I don't like it. <laughs> hey, you gotta think about uh, less clothes is more, you know? So, you know, sometimes I like to let it breathe, but it's nighttime right now. It's cold. Yeah, I'm I'm real fat, so I just wear a vest, you know. It works out pretty good for this man. He's like, oh, I don't need no fucking jacket. Yeah, you just gotta be fat. I tried, it don't work. Where the fuck are we going? The stable. It's way the fuck over here. Yeah, hey, we're almost there. Be around the corner. Hopefully this guy didn't kill my horse, but uh, not the biggest yeah, deal, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I hope not. I've been. It was in. It was in Your real good shape too. I've been feeding it carrots like all damn day. Uh, it, it must have not been in good shape. No, nah, it was in phenomenal. It was in better shape than me. I fed that horse better than I've been feeding myself. Know. I've done some. I've damaged the horses and then they didn't die. I've it's been robbing but, people of their carrot crops for about 24 but, hours and feeding my horse all of them. almost killed Lee's horse a couple times. He put an arrow in the side of a horse's head on accident and it looked at him like, excuse me, horse, excuse me, what did you just do to me? Now, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you one thing, don't try to shoot deer with a cattleman uh, revolver. That's a terrible idea. Yeah, I shot a deer about 25 times inside the head, and he just ran off. And I said, well, that was about $17 gone. Or they'll fucking disappear. Yeah. Yeah, he I was like he was real still for a while, and then all of a sudden yeah, he uh -huh. blinked off in a heartbeat. Yep, disappeared. Yeah. The bow and arrow is your friend for hunting. Oh. Hey, weird little boy, my horse here. <laughs> Holy mother God, Leonard's alive. Holy shit. Leonard, you're alive. Reaching them pockets. And you have your things on you. That's fantastic, Leonard. Good, good, good horse for not. Dying. Good horse. Well, well done for being an anonymous carcass before. <laughs> you know, I, I knew it was okay. I always trusted you, uh -huh. Bullet Bill. <laughs> oh, so that's sorry. oh my God! This is so a. Sorry. It was it's, an just, accident. it's just a nickname, man. This keeps not happening bad. to me. I've had about 25 different people tackle me and choke me. <laughs> when, when, when we were at the farm at patch earlier by Rhodes, 
Oh my god, it was three of us. We just fucking tackling each other like ridic- it was terrible. I've been I've been pretty good about being friendly with people. I always forget the first time I, I hop on after the storm, though. <laughs> That's uh, when I start grabbing nuts oops. on horses. <laughs> Your horse let is me, a little low me, on health. Hey, let me get My horse is also a little uh, on the R tarded side, so. What'd you let say, me, buddy? Let me get seven more dollars this blast. And then if that dude's even around anymore. <laughs> oh my more. good god, what happened to your horse? <laughs> Look how sad you made his horse. Look how sad it is. I can't even open my bags on my horse. <laughs> 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 He's sad because he's got that fucking thing. Do you see, uh, do you happen to know where the spot is to put him back in? <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, it's like right here. It's like pretty much in the middle of this dirt yeah, paveway. Try to, yeah, try to put him back in. You should be good after that. Yeah, you don't want to, if you ever want to put him up, don't flee him. Bring him back to the designated spot so you don't fuck him up. And send him in and get him back out. Yep, mm-hmm. Also, hey. You have, let's say you have saddlebags, a saddle, fucking reins, whatever, like, you, like added. Whenever you click on your horse to see it, right? Click on it. Make sure everything loads first. And if everything, everything, if everything doesn't load, back out. It fucking flies. And then go back in and make sure if everything loads, then bring them out. Because if not, you'll get where you'll see people hopping around, right? Oh, I got you. Horse. Yeah, I've seen that before. That, that's why, because they don't make sure that everything loads. Got you, got you. So, like, uh, let's say you have like a saddle and the, and then just whatever. You yeah, just make sure they load and you're good. All right, let me go pull them out. Mm -hmm, yeah, just make sure. It just you a long way from the ranch, cowboy. Also, whenever you're going through your stuff, your bags, get away from the horse. Whenever you're going, um, whenever you're going through your horse, you want to make sure there's nobody by it or your wagon, because it'll make it not to where you can't get in the pockets. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah, seen that. So, so like, if I'm like right up here, it ain't gonna let you open up pockets when you're that close. Fair Safety enough. mechanism. Also, it's kind of fucking wonky. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I still can't so, open my, my pockets while I'm on my horse, though. No, -uh, you can't open his... Wait, your pockets or his? No, my pockets. What? You should be able to. Yeah, I can't give him a carrot or nothing. All right. Um, let's see. Uh... uh he I is pretty go. fucked up. I'm not going to lie. He, he is. Up. Yeah, he is uh, very red in the heart and very red in the lightning, you know? <laughs> not for my doing, of course. There you go, buddy. Maybe ten carrots. That should help a little bit. Yeah, I just can't. I just can't get to my pockets to give him a carrot. Oh, fuck. Pockets are scuffy. Oh, I can't even open my pockets so I'm off the hold up. I'm. I'll be right back. <laughs> Take a nap. Hang tight, chat. We gotta reconnect. I, c I could not access my. This, this is the only thing with RP is that you kind of can't access. Uh, or sometimes your uh, UI loadout just will kind of bug out, and you won't be able to access th certain things. But usually, relogging fixes things, so we'll see. I almost always get a crash the first time after trying to reload, so. One more time. Should be able to get right back in because we were uh, already logged in there.
There we go. And if you're in the chat and you, uh, no matter where you're from, what language you speak, feel free to say something, man. I like, I like people talking in the chat. I love talking I, and I especially love talking to chat. I might like talking in RP and chatting with all the characters, but I like talking to you guys in chat too. So don't, don't be shy. And if you've never chatted before, feel free. I'm a very open and uh, positive person to be talking to, so don't don't be scared. I'm your friend. And thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, we are back in Marcel Marceau. Let's see where these guys are. Okay, we can open our bags again. Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm back here. Gave us both ten dollars for no reason. He's just a nice guy. Who done gave you ten dollars? He said <laughs> he just missed he it. He said, "How's my form?" And then we said, "Good." He gave us both ten dollars. Well, both son of a gun. <laughs> so here, I'm gonna give you five bucks. You want five bucks? Nah, I'm all right. It's all right. Sure? I, I've been doing pretty good for myself ever since all I right. figured out the, t the tobacco game. We we keep getting set back. Just set back after set back. Soon. Well, we, you know, we fucking get distracted. Easily. We should get back to work. Yeah, hey, I took do. I took a forty-five dollar <laughs> bath the first time I came in town, so <laughs> and I can't do much worse than that. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go buy this flask, and then we're gonna head over to Rhodes. If we're ever over there, we'll we'll probably be over by the processing. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna need to head over there and do some uh, cotton processing at some point. So uh, I all might right. see you guys over there. And if we're not there, we'll be at that field. Yep, that's, that's my field over here in St. Denis, so I'll see ya. Alright, see you later, man. Have a good day, nice fellas. Those are some nice guys. Dude, my horse is so fucked up. Alright, we gotta, like, just feed it carrots until it's good. <laughs> Cause I, they, they, whoever stole my horse just absolutely destroyed my horse. I'm, I'm really happy it's not dead, because uh, that... Bullet Bill over there rode our horse around the corner after we were uh, taken hostage, and then we, our horse was dead. But thankfully, we were able to revive it or find it in a revivable state at the stable. So, all right, our horse is feeling a little bit better now. So let's just top him off. Let's go all the way. <laughs> it's been like an hour since I've been trying to do what I wanted to do. Is that a real guy? I can't even tell. Alright. Oh look. I gotta look at my bags. I gotta figure out what we were doing. So we got a lot of raw cotton we need to process. We got a lot of raw tobacco we need to process. So we need to head to Rhodes and then we'll head back. Ooh, but we need to buy... Thank, thank God I remembered. We need to buy um, rolling papers. Which is like here, I think. Alright, let's go get rolling papers. So we're going to do rolling papers here, buy rolling papers at the store, then we're going to go to Rhodes and process our cotton, and then we're going to head to the little farmstead outside of Rhodes to process our tobacco, and then we'll put our tobacco, our cotton, and our rolling papers together, and we'll make crates of cigarettes that we can sell to this store that's over here. Long process, but uh, at least we're not starving anymore. We 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 were like the as close as it, as it is to a starving homeless <laughs> bum character as you could get. We were be we begged for ten dollars, we got ten dollars, and we turned it all around. So now we should be on the up and up. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We also need a bath, but I also promised Marty that we'd only take baths if Marty gave us baths. So <laughs> it might be it might be tomorrow. Alright, we need like forty rolling papers. Out of there, ma'am. She's real quiet. I wish I could just like right click. Can I right click? No, I can't. Right click and like buy 40. 
Can I open my bag from here? No. What do we got? 27, so we need 13 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I should put us at forty. Right? Forty. Okay, we got forty rolling paper. We gotta go process our cotton and process our uh tobacco and then we can Turn it into. Oh shit, I did not just buy a fruit stall. I don't know if I rented a fruit, <laughs> fruit stand or not by accident. I really hope I didn't just waste $10. We might have. That's never the biggest deal. Any little setback is just, uh. Just more willingness for us to grind. So now we gotta head off. I think yeah, we're gonna do roads and then to the uh, little tobacco processing plant. And roads is just across like the bridge over here. It's not too far away. Actually, we can actually set the map so we can like set a marker on the map. And we should be able to just if we get on the road here. Hold V, boom. It should cinematic mode us in the speed that we're running there. So we can just kind of hang out and watch. All right, cool. Hands-free mode. Tesla horse. And if things on stream look weird, just yell at me. Like, honestly, yell at me. Say, hey, it's too framey or hey, it's too whatever. I can't tell. I'm too busy playing. But it seems okay for now. Seems like everything's running alright. But don't 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 feel afraid of yelling at me. I'm 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 very much someone who likes uh constructive criticism. It is crazy that you gotta ride, like, you have to actually go really far to, like, get anything done in this. Because I started in the bi that big city in St. Denis. And I found it was very hard to start there. Because you have to go outside the city for pretty much everything. But I got, I think I have a pretty good uh, idea of what I'm doing now. There we got the hiccups. Probably just need some water. You ever just get the hiccups randomly, like out of nowhere? And then you just like take a gulp of water and it's like all, all over. So we're in roads and there is a cotton processing plant. We have 32 cotton. 32 raw cotton, excuse me. Should be able to process it here. This took me a little bit to figure out, even though I had someone tell me how to do it. Um, raw produce, 32 refined cotton. So we'll stand here and do our little crafting. It should get us 32. What? How much do we have? Raw. Uh, we have another 32, so we can do another stack. We can do an exact uh, another stack. Oh, we're gonna make like we're gonna make 150 bucks off this uh, tobacco run that we're we've done here. 
That's actually really good. <laughs> we were negative nine dollars pretty much to start start of the day, and now we've kind of turned it all around. And it is taking me it is taking me a long time just to learn like what you're supposed to how how you do this and like uh, who you go to, where you go, who you talk to, how you do it. it, it like it is it is wild trying to learn this game. <laughs> this, this is heavy in uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it mechanics, but it's like heavy in just like just a learning phase of the game. So we can do one more stack. Nice. Really nice to get two stacks out. Because it feels kind of... Honestly, there was a guy um, when we were farming who was like, Hey, can I get one uh, tobacco plant from you? One tobacco leaf? Because 64 is a stack, but they think they, they produce in nine when you grow them. So you get 63 when you, when you, when you grow like eight or whatever it is. You get like 63. So he's like, can I get one? I was like, yep, I totally get what you're talking about. <laughs> Cause then we if you have sixty three and you go process them, you can't you can't process them at all. Pretty annoying. But we are well on our way to some uh, some money. And we bought rolling papers. We're yeah, we're good. We are good. So we need to process our tobacco. I think that's really all we need to do. Oops. I don't know if I have any on the horse or not. Let me make sure. Oh, we 100% have some on the horse, right? If my guy would uh, look in the bags here. He just does not want to do it. Do anything else? Okay, how about now? I can't look in my saddlebags. Are you kidding me? Alright, whatever. We'll, <laughs> we'll worry about that later. <laughs> part, all part of, uh... All part of playing, a uh, RP server. Can I go this way? I cut right hard. I am really happy our, our horse isn't dead. Leonard's not dead. Uh, I, I was a little upset <laughs> when I walked around the corner and it was just lying, and Leonard was lying on the ground, just like not moving, looked very dead. I was like, bro, I got on the server yesterday. I got a free horse. I thought I was ahead of the game, and this guy killed my horse. But uh, seems like Leonard's all right. Let's see if we can. No, fuck. I can't can't access our storage bags, unfortunately. Come on, please. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to put them away and pull them back out, which sucks because that means I'm only being able, going to be able to do a single uh, run of uh, tobacco here. Excuse me? Does it it thought I missed that? There's no way. Howdy, fella. How you doing? Not too bad, my friend. Oh, good old work. Just checking. Yeah, how did you think I missed that first one? That was super weird. Yeah, I think we need 32. I don't think we can do it this one without 32 son of a bitch and it's and I have it on the horse it's just we can't pull it off the horse oh, yeah. 
end up here to look for you too. Oh, okay. He's probably up in road still. Yeah, you got a snake in your boots, Jimmy. Oh! Hey, there ain't a, a little stable nearby, is there? A stable? Yeah, I can't get into my horse's pockets, unfortunately. Uh, I need to kind of oh. re-stable and pull them back out. I see. Well, uh, the closest one would be up in up in roads. So it's just up the hill right there. Yeah, fair enough. That's not too far. Mm -hmm. You need to ride up there, or oh, no? It's all right. If uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna dry my uh, tobacco here and then uh, ride over when I when that's all done. Okay. Okay. Thanks well, for thanks around. for the offer, my friend. Oh no worries. You're good. Take care. Everyone's so everyone's so nice on the server. It's insane. Like this is this is not how most RP servers I would say are. There's a lot of people who are very uh, diminutive, I would say, into into the their like ownership of of a certain RP server. Where, like if you head into certain places, you kind of get like put in a in a box as a as a newbie until you like make yourself known. This has been a very friendly RP server. Damn it, I really wish I could get to this, my saddlebags. Nope, can't do it. Unlucky. All right, so now we need to destem. So we so dr we got dried. Where is it? Yeah, we got dried tobacco from our thirty-two uh, normal tobacco. So now we go to this station and we dry it. Or excuse me, we don't dry it. We uh we already dried it. We remove the stems. I think that's all we can actually do because we only have so much. I have so much on the horse. I I really wish we could get to our saddlebags. I don't think we can do another one. Yeah, can't do another one. We can go box it up so we package it. So you have to hit the, you basically just have to hit the marker within the little territory each time. It doesn't seem too hard, but there is like a little bit of server lag in like that one. <laughs> that, uh, that doesn't allow you to get like that one. It doesn't allow you to get it every time. You want to hit, like I generally try to hit a little bit early because of the server, server lag. You want to hit like right when you're seeing the thing cross over. But sometimes, sometimes it'll go like all the way around, and even though you hit early. See, I hit that one really early and didn't have no any any lag at all. But yeah, you have to hit the corresponding number in the right area. Not the hardest thing in the world, but okay, that seems to be all all that we had. So we have 28 ready to back to, I really, okay, we gotta go stash your horse and come back real quick. Cause we kinda need. We kinda need the, uh, the, the excess that's on our horse here. Cause that way we can we can almost I think we can almost sell for like 200 bucks if we uh, have have what's left on the horse and ho hopefully we can run into some some entrepreneurs and uh, actually make some real money but we haven't been that lucky yet We've been very unlucky. We've met a lot of criminal types. Unfortunately, most of those were off stream. 
Man, I, I, I wish I streamed the first, the first day was so funny. Like the first five minutes I was getting hogtied by people. Oh, I wonder if I do this actually. If I have to restable him here. I don't remember where it is, unfortunately. Oh shit, I don't, oh there it is, there it is. Wait, where is it? Oh no. Did not did not actually move him over here. That would be really shitty. Cause I ran him th through the doors as I was coming in. Oh my god, he's back in Saint Denis. Well, either way, as long as it fixed the uh Yeah, I think he's back there. Fuck. Oh, we gotta run on foot. He's not here, is he? Nope. All right, we got to run on foot. Do I need anything from here? No, it's all on the horse. Fuck. All right. Fair enough. Is what it is, boys and girls. Now we go all the way through this little little area and then out the back. And I was trying I was trying to move the horse over to another stable so we can get access to the uh saddlebags. Didn't want to do it. Just some of just some of the little things, like when you're on a RP server or just like a non official uh type server. This, this type of stuff will happen. You'll get a lot of like little weird bugs. Look kind of like, oh god, why do I have to deal with kind of things? But hell, my horse died <laughs> earlier, and it's and we got it back. So I I guess I cannot complain too much because we could be thinking about like uh we could be thinking like this that we just have no horse at all and we're just stuck. So me running running on foot from one point to another isn't isn't too bad compared to not having a horse at all because I did that on day one that was pretty rough. Now let's go across the train tracks. A little shortcut. Hopefully I can just grab the stuff out of uh, my horse's pockets at the stable there. We don't have to goof about. I've also never seen the train on this server. I know it exists, but I have never seen it personally. Stable, stable should be up here somewhere on the left. Still getting used to... This is our, the town I started in and I still don't know it very well. But this is the town I probably spent the least time in of all the towns in uh, Red Dead. Uh, the story mode, the campaign. Pretty much when I got here I said I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I was like, oh, big city? I'm not interested. All right, here's stable. Look at this old fossil playing at cowboy. My horse is here, unfortunately. All right, we can get to our storage. Oh, 
we have so much raw cotton too. Uh, how much do we have here? Normal cotton. Actually, not too bad. But we should do this. Cause we have. S yeah, that's better. No, I don't want to lead. How do I cancel leading my horse? Oh, my horse is freaking dead again. What the hell? Oh, I, 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 that's that's unfortunate. We have to waste so much to heal it back up. All right, so we really just need to go to the tobacco processing. We should be all right. I think we have enough cotton. That was a little bit of a setback, though. Annoying, but like didn't take. It was what, like ten minutes? That's not bad. I, sh I wish we had a you know partner in crime with us, someone to to talk to, hang out with while we were goofing about, but uh. Not too many people on at the moment. Probably run into some people we can hang out with later as the day goes on. Let me make sure we're going the right way. It should be this field right here. Yeah, straight ahead. be able to dry a bunch of stuff. You don't have any harvest tobacco. Yes, I do. Oh, uh, somehow it's still on the horse. And I was pretty sure I swapped it over. Ninety-seven. Okay, hold up. Let's take 64. Didn't I just do 64 and 32? Like what the hell happened? Sixty four. It's not splitting it right. Whatever. We'll do two and then come back. <laughs> I think my scenes are changing when I'm doing it with a numpad because I think I have it locked to my uh, scenes. What? That was that was a lag. That was the lag. That was the lag too. I, I, I thought I was gonna lose it on the two. I got hit way earlier. Okay, four seconds. And yeah, we got hit it way earlier, unfortunately. I have to hit it like a second before it gets to the uh to the line. 
Normally it's not that bad. That is brutal. That is brutal. I hit him all early and it, the the two the last the very last one still didn't get recognized. Thirty five seconds, holy hell. Thirty six seconds. Jesus. Really? But it's not me, it's the lag. Oh man, okay, we just gotta wait. That sucks. I'm getting cucked by lag. 21 seconds. All right. We got cucked by lag, and now we got to wait. I, and I have a lot to process. <laughs> that sucks. I got to get two and then go to the horse to get the rest. I mean, it costs a dollar every time uh, to, to start the processing. So it's good to get it right the first time. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, zero. Dude, video game, I can't, there's nothing else I can do. If you if you want me to push it faster, it's not possible. I, I have to just guess the number at that point. I, I can't, I can't get, get it if it's going to be, if it's going to be like this. I'm pushing it before, like, the second the number appears, I'm pushing it. 11 seconds. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just lagging compared to the server. I mean, we'll, we'll get it. We only need to do it three times, I think. It's just kind of annoying. That server lag will, uh... No, I can't. Uh, those are the one. The one when it gets when it's a really small version of it. That's when it's really tough. Well, I've lost so much money just fucking around doing this too. Thirty-five seconds on this one. So I have to. I have to hit it pretty early. Like I had to hit almost a second and a half early on the the very last one for the previous uh, drying process. 22 seconds. And it's not even an annoying thing that because because we'll get it. It's not even like about that. It's just it's annoying that there's nothing that that lets me know I'm lagging, <laughs> or lets me know that there's going to be a almost two second difference in what I'm doing. Two point two seconds. Three, two, one. Like that one. That's in, that's impossible. That's actually impossible. There's like nothing I could have done. I pushed it so early and it and it recognizes late. And I pushed that one early and it categories it just early. Like sometimes, yeah. Unlucky. And unfortunately these these are the first ones I've ever missed too. Unfortunately they're on stream. That's that's always lovely, right? I have to wait 60 still on this one? What the fuck? I didn't think that one was up, so I was not, I, I'll take an L on that one. That was, that was my fault. That was one forty still. Holy crap. All right, we can, we can do the other things. Hopefully these aren't bad. Bruh. Hold up, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna reset my uh client. Cause it has never been this laggy for me. I straight up it has never been that laggy. 
Like I've not missed any of those prompts ever. <laughs> and now it's like, oh, it's consistent. Either I press it early and it recognizes it as late or I press it on time and it recognizes it as late. So hopefully this will fix it. Hopefully. Oh yeah, I always get one crash. That's 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 the standard. One crash before we uh get back in. I'm gonna go grab a drink while we're uh, waiting to get back in here. Be right back. All right, hopefully this uh, addressed some of our problems here. Hopefully we're not lagging out of our minds. That was so bad, holy crap. Like that was, it. I pushed the button and then it ran like for three seconds after. All right, let's see. Oh, I can see it chunking. Okay, got that one. <laughs> I think that was all of us that we had on us. We do have more on the horse. Oh no. <laughs> we gotta, there's no way. Okay, whatever. We gotta go pull the horse out again. Unlucky. You can you can see it lagging. You can see it chunking. It does not ever do that, by the way. You can see the line like going. You can like see it slowing down. It is not normally like that. That was normal. That was how it normally is. When it's like, hey, just smoothly moving along. Oh, hey there, sir. Rip. Rip will be here soon. He's he's in the uh, lake over there taking baths. Oh, it's all right. Just be just be careful with your fingers over here. It's a uh, it's kind of not not how your eyes would be be seeing it normally. Oh, is it a little uh little off? It is a uh, it's not, I wouldn't call it a little off. It's more like uh, it's like two days off. Holy fuck! 
Hey, I've been ha I've been struggling quite hard here. And I have never struggled ever before at anything like this. Yeah, it, usually the middle one, the second one is pretty easy. It's usually slow. Yeah, the timing is just going uh not not exactly where it, where the eye meets the, you know, the point of of no return. How dare it. Uh We'll blame it on uh, Rip. We'll, we'll, we'll blame it on Rip. It was <laughs> oh, how did I miss that? How do I miss that? I, it's just lagging. I, I don't know if we can. I'm losing so much money by more. missing it. Yeah, I'm losing quite a bit of money by not uh not landing these uh, mm -hmm. properly. Yeah. I, I don't have enough to try it yet, but give me a second. I'll, I'll try it. Yeah, once I can get enough, I'll try and we'll see. See, I hit that so early and it didn't even show up as on. T yep, that was early too. It didn't even show up in the the line on the uh, that one too. That one just didn't register whatsoever. Yeah, you got it. I got it hit early. I got to be almost a. Ooh, yep, didn't register. And I was early and it didn't want it. It's like, it's tough. You might want to take a nap. It works. It, it's working okay. Oh, no. I just, I just took a nap, sir. Oh, I, really? uh, yeah, I came back and uh, most of it, it's, it's pretty close now, but it's still a little bit off. Huh. That other thing in the ass. Is that you? Pick a boo. Yeah, that's me, Bill Bill. What's your name again? Ranger Danger. Oh, I'm Marcel. 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 I'm Rip. I'm oh, Bill. yeah, Bullet Bill. I remember you. Oh, Lee, Lee and Rip. I mean, Rip is Bullet Bill. That's, that's how I remember. Um, it's a little bit faster. But the uh, if you hit the oh it's so the, fucked um, <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even hitting it even close and, and that's when it works I'm hitting it so early and then sometimes I hit like sometimes I hit it early it just doesn't want it at all okay now it seems to be okay let's see if we can just try like on the dot. I think we processed most of it, so let's see what we can turn this shine into. Cotton. Oops, don't do that. What did I just do? Let's not do that. Let's not let's not put our fifty <laughs> our fifty uh divide that by five. Let's move that over here. One, two, three, four, five. Put the cotton in the top, and we going to split this by three. One, two, three, boom. And we're gonna make ourselves some uh, something or other that we can sell. So yeah, that made us 10 packets of rolled cigarettes. So we, we do have 48 dried tobacco, but it just depends on if we can get the stem breaking facility to work out for us. All right, lag, lag seems to be gone. Actually, it's very good. We still have stuff on our horse that we can't get to, unfortunately. But that's what it is. Where'd you put the horse? <laughs> I never took that I way. don't know what to tell you. Yep, I thought the no, lag was gone and then that happened. Right behind you. No, wait five seconds. Oh my lord. 
Well, we got taxed a dollar for fucking that. That's not our fault either. That sucks. Okay, at least it's only two. Like, I think the drying is four. You have to do like four prompts to nail it. I don't have too much left. Oh my god, it's so annoying. I can't believe how bad it is. I might just be. Oh, I appreciate that if you wouldn't steal that, but uh. Yeah, I mean, if I, you want me to pick it up, I'll pick it up. But I'll leave it there for you. It's not a big deal. I trust you. Nah, I've lost about ten dollars on uh my eyes not matching up with exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, so it's been quite annoying. Oh my god, thank you. It's my I... box of tobacco on the floor over there. I don't know if you have room, uh, uh Lee. Yeah, over here, Lee, there's about eight eight box tobacco sitting on the floor here. Okay. Let me, let me get out of your way. I think they're outside, I'll check. Yeah, they're probably on the other side of the wall. All right, so we're not. It doesn't seem to be lagging too bad, but there are times when it's like it's a good two full seconds of lag. I can't pick them up. Yeah, they might be tucked up inside that wall. They are. Son of a shit. What do I have? Oh, wait, the box is back. We can. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, all good, my friend. This one's easy. We only have to do one one prompt, so that Neither I thought we were gonna not. miss. And it doesn't cost money. This is the one that doesn't matter. No no tax. Only one prompt. Doesn't matter. All the other ones were Keep fucking me. terrible. Oh yeah, let me get out of your way here. I'm a large man. Alright, I'm cool if you wanna go to the storage real quick. Boom. There's, I just gave you 12 packs. Yeah, see, this one this one works fine. The other ones kind of seem to be a little bit off. You go, oh, Griffin, you just are missing the prompts. I don't, I'm, I haven't uh, missed a single one of these. So shut up. Let me see. Head to the store group. Okay, fair enough. I missed one. Yeah, but right, uh, <laughs> that was a lag. <laughs> that was like definitely that. lag. I hit them all at the same, at the same kind of like time. I hit them all in the first like quarter of, of the number. That one just did not register at all. Some, so sometimes it just does not even like think you press the button whatsoever. I will talk to you tomorrow, then, man. Send, I'll send you uh, two of those. I pressed too early. I, I won't lie. Time, okay. okay. And then just send me one whenever you get in. Okay, good, man. Take it easy. Alright, that, you see, that should be plenty enough for the horse. Hey, hey I'm gonna see it beyond the... Hmm? Yeah, mm-hmm. Alright, what would we end up with? Um, so, we got ten wraps. Uh, how many packs do you 50 have ready now? tobacco. Like okay, we can make like something. 20, 30. 20? Okay. No, I can't get. I cannot get to the saddlebags on it. You gotta go put put her back and then come come on back. Whenever you unlucky. Whenever you buy something on a horse, it's different from whenever you're buying stuff for you. You know how you can change stuff, right? So let's say you buy a saddle. And you turn around. And you're like, never mind. I want to buy. I want the bags now instead with the saddle, right? 
You have to, if you don't do it then, you have to rebuy the saddle. Oh, yeah. I learned that the hard way. I bought saddle bags, and I just bought a saddle. You have to rebuy the saddle bags. So you're paying for all of it. It's really annoying. I know what he's talking about. But I'm pretty sure I have everything I need on the horse. I, need, I have a saddle and saddle bags. I don't care about anything else. You'll click it over to change it from different ones. I don't need a blanket. I don't need a horn. But it's. Uh, we need nothing else. Just do it. Do it together. Don't like. Don't. Buy All right, we got thirteen. And then turn around and be like, I'm gonna go buy. The and then buy the bag. Man, fuck! I wish I knew how much I had on the horse. I guess we can roll over to roads real quick. Just this way. We can get a good 40 to $60 maybe. Something like that off uh, the 13 cigarette packs we, we have. But I, I feel like we can get more. Oh, we have negative $1. We can't even buy. We can't buy rolling papers. We're in the negative from the government tax because we met stupid lag it was making us miss a bunch of prompts. So we just got unlucky. But the uh, isn't it right here? Yeah, it's right here. I love how close this this is. No wonder everyone likes roads. Come on, Marcel. We gotta get in here and put the horse away. Get a load of this oh, dude. you know what? I'm I'm stupid. Well, hey there, ladies. Howdy, howdy. There we go. It's like over here somewhere. Boop. No shot. Where are you? He's in the St. Denis stable. Wonderful. Absolutely great. <laughs> Absolutely great. I forgot we'd moved it. Oh, son of a bitch. But I just put it in this stable. Is that not what we just did? Did I not just ride my horse here? Uh, I can't. I need to go there. Fuck. All right. We just got to run back. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> I guess I guess we'll sell our we're low on stamina. Do we have food? And we ain't got shit. Uh we got nothing. Alright, we're just we're fucking walking back to say <laughs> the Saint Denis. Oh what dude, this keeps happening to us. We we just keep getting so unlucky. Alright, we gotta get into our running form. That's not what I was trying to do. Where's our this one and the hat? There we go. Alright, now I can run. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, we can sell 13. Oh, we actually have water. And until you stop running, what's going on here? Now you go through liquid and food so fast in this I like it's unreal like you don't even think about it at least at least everyone's been really nice everyone's been so nice to me <laughs> like I can't even I can't even describe how uh, nice the uh, our peers on this server have been everyone has been so fantastic hey what's up Tia Mod? yeah we're doing a little uh, Red Dead RP we're not not just normal Red Dead we are uh, we're playing a character we're we are filthy dirty actually <laughs> but i i promised a, a guy that the only the only time we'd take a bath is if it was if he would bathe us so uh there's a young man named marty in uh in saint denis that is that is our bath bath boy that bathes uh, bathes us uh, <laughs> but uh other than that we've been growing tobacco yeah it, it actually rp is very hardcore and uh i'm not sure i was prepared <laughs> <laughs> it has been so interesting. 
Uh, I hope I can get involved with some people so you can you can see how it actually goes. Because being on my own is is rough. Everyone's been really nice though. I can't I can't say enough about how how nice everyone's been to me. Yeah, but we are a fat a fat man. We are probably the largest man on the server. Uh, we are named Marcel Marceau, and uh, we are just trying to make a living. And we are at negative one dollar currently in our uh, pockets, but uh, we do have some goods to sell. We have thirteen packs of cigarettes that we're about to sell. We're a tobacco salesman. And I do have a horse. I do have a horse. It just happens to be uh, stationed in this town. I think we got bugged out in the... Uh, I stored it at the, the town I was just at, and it didn't like that. So it said, hey, you have to go back to the town you are in before and go get it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll hope it's here. <laughs> I really do hope it's here. Either way, we we'll still sell our cigarettes. We we we're gonna make about forty, maybe fifty bucks. That's that's a big one. I'm already getting hungry. I I can't even remember what my last meal was. Like oh my goodness. So if if you look down at the bottom left, you can see like the temperature, and then my my food or how how hungry I am. My water. And then below that, the little heart is my health, my actual like when I'm gonna die. Ain't no place for hillbillies like you in town no more. And the lightning bolt is my stamina. And then the microphone is the is my my voice chat. So if I activate it, I can talk at different levels. All right, dude, horse. There's no way, dude. Something's wrong with my horse. Someone killed my horse by accident earlier, and uh, it's been stuck in the stable, and every time I pull it out, it is almost dead. It is, like, on the cusp of death. But I do need to make sure my horse has, uh... Has the goods. Six... Fifty-eight... All right, 58 process, unprocessed. Okay, we, we we can actually make a lot of money still. I never know how to get out of this menu. How do I do this? There we go. All right, let's go sell our tobacco. Howdy. Howdy, howdy mister. How, how did you, uh... Oh, it was Mr. Cotton. Thing? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you look so different with the hat on. I can never... Uh, you all look like somebody... Some... Pretty much everybody else with the hat. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I just uh, lost track of you after you were uh, brought to the ladies to some place. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got fixed up at the uh, old doctor's office. That was pretty nice. And then, uh... Yeah, I've been selling tobacco and processing tobacco. That's pretty much what I've been doing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, did, did you get uh, any description of him or went to the police office or uh, anything? No, all I knew was uh, that little mute, the little mute boy choked me out. But I didn't yeah. want to, I didn't want to mention that because I want to kind of look like a hero, you know. Yeah, I got that. I got that. So I said, oh no, I didn't get choked out. I actually choked out twenty-five uh, alligators and saved a bunch of children. That's that's what really happened. Yeah, yeah, I can witness that too. If anybody uh, asks, yeah, yeah, yeah you so, seen it, you seen it. I re you were there. Yeah. I think exactly. But on the twenty-six alligator, he got you, so uh, you had to get stitched up. Yeah, mm, I don't remember it that way. I remember flying in from the sky and uh, taking down Kratos and uh, oh hell, eating all the alligators by myself, and then the children were all saved, and that's what I told the that's what I told the lawman. Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. I'm just gonna send my horse off and uh, try to grab my wagon. See you around, Mister. Oh, uh, well, thank you, thank you for uh, recognizing me, Mister Cotton. I appreciate it. Have a fantastic day, Mister Cotton. Mister Cotton helped us out earlier. He was a good guy. He 
you looked over our uh, our crops while we, <laughs> while we had to run away for a little bit. <laughs> the really cool thing about RP is that these are just all real players, like kind of like struggling through the same the same things that you're struggling through, uh, and and you can actually tell if they're well off or not. Like I I think people might think I'm. A little bit well off because I have a horse with saddlebags and a saddle and that is not that's just kind of not a normal thing I don't think I think most people with a horse plus saddlebags are kind of well off and uh, I got I got all of this for free because I am a swindler <laughs> I swindled the hell out of some people I really hope I meet that the, there are two players I met yesterday uh, one of them uh, is my in-game cousin <laughs> one of them is my in-game nephew and uh, i convinced some lady to sell us three horses for three hundred dollars which i had none of the money for and uh they gave me one of the horses <laughs> so <laughs> so that is where i am now and let us hope this that the, oh i guys pulled off the horse actually let's hope our tobacco processing actually works well this is a good sign all right, we got our 58, so we can, oh, I think we can only do one. So I think it's 32 a piece. All right, no lag. <laughs> Always good when the lag doesn't hit you. So that timer should start, hopefully. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, don't have enough for another one. I need 32. I held my horse go. Please do not do this to me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no, I'm like dead ass. Where is the horse? No, dude, I can't. I can't do this again. Please, <laughs> please come back. I can't do it again, man. I can't. I run so many times between these towns. <laughs> My God. No, and I need. I need rolling papers. I left him right here. He was just right here. Leonard, where'd you go? Dude, I'm, I'm about to just yoink some, some rando horse. Bro, my horse is bugged. Like, I think my horse is actually just bugged. Uh, Tia Mod, you do not know how... <laughs> been running I've been running so much on the server oh there's no way oh, oh. so we we just went from here to here uh, we picked our horse up right here and went to here we need to go over here Hey there, mister. Hey, you didn't see a, a dark horse with an orange tail and orange mane run off somewhere, did you? No. Didn't oh, no my horse. goodness. This keeps happening to me. I keep uh, I keep riding my horse over here and it just keeps disappearing. Fair enough. Hey, there's Bull Bill. Hey, Bull Bill, did you uh, happen to see my horse? Uh, I, I think I, I did, but I don't anymore, so. Yeah, I, I rode him up. Yeah, I rode him up here, and he just kind of hoofed on me. You know what? I, you see that stable over there? Still yes, sir. There, there's a little, there's a horse just like mine in there. You could, you could use that temporarily. Just snag him real quick. Yes, sir. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yep. All right, at least there's there's something we can do. We can go snag some horse. 
because I'm pretty sure we took took the stuff we needed off. You don't have harvested. What do we have? Oh, we have ready tobacco, so we can go pull the stems. I can t I can tell it's still lagging though. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna be happy when it just fails out of uh, just because of lag. Cause this, this this is the one that costs a dollar. Okay. Yeah, we're already minus four dollars. But when you fail and you're minus four dollars, it feels worse. I don't mind if it works and I'm minus four dollars. I already get it all. I don't even have rolling papers to finish this anyway, so. Oh, shit. I forgot to sell in town. That is what we forgot to do. Yeah, this is a, a custom RP server. So there's, there's 250 other players uh, on the server with me. And everyone has like a custom character and they everyone kind of abides by the custom rules. And uh, there, there are like, uh, you know, there's rangers and lawmen and gangsters and, and all sorts of different types. So... It's not just like, oh, there's just a bunch of people picking cotton. So I, I'm like the lowest tier of the low tiers. Like I got, I got kidnapped earlier and uh, taken hostage for, uh, I think they were robbing an art gallery. <laughs> That's what I, what I took away from it. But I am doing the lowest of the low. Okay, so we got cotton. We got our box tobacco ready to go. Oh, I forgot to sell. This sucks. We don't have the horse. Where'd that guy go? I might just, I just might just steal his horse. Eh, it's all right, their horse. Howdy. Oh god. Oh god. Howdy okay. there, sir. Uh, okay. You didn't see that. Oh god. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. he oh, got me. He god. darn got me. I can only oh, see my penis. Oh, god, what's going oh, on? <laughs> oh, did he actually get you? Yeah, when you oh, can only oh, see your penis from heaven, oh, it's when oh, they get you. God. Oh god, he's looking <laughs> real. Oh, god, oh, god. <laughs> I tried horse. to take his horse and I got murdered. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get him to Nancy. Or maybe there's no, thank you, gentlemen. Of course. I can't, I can't believe that happened. I was just trying to borrow the dude's horse and I got fucking I got kicked upside the head. Uh at least uh, thank God uh, that these dudes rolled up uh the second that happened cuz I could have been sitting there forever. <laughs> that that was that was like um that's amazing timing. And uh, do you do you happen to be uh some of Jameson's boys? Oh, I might. Uh, yes, we are. Okay, I can. Yeah, I could. Re re come? I could recognize the red and the with the white suspenders. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I met Mister Jameson earlier today. He's a quite a quite a lovely fella. Oh, he he's real nice. He's real nice. Yeah, I met their boss earlier today. They said he said all my guys wore white suspenders with red uh, overalls. <laughs> so I'm. I'm guessing that's one of them. <laughs> we got really like I could have been laying on the ground just like <laughs> dead for a long time that could have been rough we're just getting taken straight to the doctor alright <laughs> I still can't believe is I got there my... a doctor here uh, I really hope there's a doctor here is there a doctor here anywhere Any doctor? what happened no, hope no uh, one's in horses is what happened. Yeah, and it's so. 75 bucks at Nancy now, eh? You are oh. taking the piss, really? It's not 40 anymore. It's, it's 75. 75. Oh, just just yeah. throw me in the ocean, my my friend. I, I'd rather die. <laughs> you, know, you know what? You know what? Um, 
Excuse me, Mr. Lawman. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? Uh, you wouldn't have to have the money to pay for this man's Nancy, would you? Oh, my um, God. <laughs> he got kicked by his horse. <laughs> I have right negative $4. Twice. Cool. First he got knocked down, then he started getting up, then ours clocked him in the head. Yeah, I didn't even see Poor the fella. second the second time coming. Yeah. Fucking I tell you what, uh, let me call in a doctor for you guys. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Perfect. There we go. Thank you. This guy's being uh, a G. Down, so this this dude is a is a. I don't want him to have a concussion. This guy's like man. a sheriff. No, no, no. I'll put him nice, uh, slow. <laughs> they're they're actually really helping me. I'm so go. broke. <laughs> I'm, I have negative four dollars. Just uh, cough for his head or something. Just checking that out, you know. Fuck happened here? A horse. Mm -hmm. Damn, 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 damn dirty horses. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Well, you have my prayers, Mr. Charles. Oh, it ain't Charles. <laughs> yeah, I'm, um, I'm Marceau, Marceau. You can pray for me if you'd like. Oh, shit. Uh, you, you look like Mr. Charles, my babe. No, what a handsome man. <laughs> I am fucked. <laughs> I got annihilated by horse. Here, let me get a bottle of water from the general store. I don't know if I can drink water. I I literally got just my head opened up by a horse. All right, fellas, I sent that on Telegram. The doctor should be coming soon. All right, two weeks, right. Two weeks to go. Thank you don't you. have to spend any money on the poor fella. You'll take care uh, of him. Oh, oh thank you, thank you. His, thank uh, you, buddy. Nancy we charging seventy five uh, bucks now, buddy. Yeah, it, it seems like you can now buy uh, what you call it. Tonics, right? Tonics, yeah, it seems like it. Oh, from Nancy. Heard. Okay. From Nancy? No. From, I heard from, from the Nancy? general store. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, oh, okay. I'll have to have a look in a minute. Well, I was I was I mighty healthy before I got kicked in the head twice, and then that that kind of just did me dead. Well, no, it's yeah. hard to come by. I don't know why. Yeah, I know. Everyone keeps saying go up to the oil fields and find... Oh, God, what's his name again? Cornwall. Cornwall, but I've never seen anyone up the oil fields. Exactly. Well, you, you don't have to have gun oil on you, do you? Uh, not a lot, unless you've got an oil prospecting license. Nah, I've only you. got bum oil on me. <laughs> How do you get an oil prospecting license? I think the government. I'm not 100% yeah, to be honest. Government thing. You can buy the prospecting uh, toolkits in um, yeah to like places. find where the oil might be, but how much processing license cost? Uh, They're having know. a conversation they, about how to mine oil. <laughs> just dead. You know I mean, so just a corpse. As well. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, I get you. I get a you. lot of hoops. Huh? Yeah, it's probably like you've got to be in the Commonwealth for over a certain amount of time. Uh, you probably yeah got to prove a business idea and stuff like that. I'd imagine, and there'd be a lot of crap. But uh, yeah, oil's so right. oil so okay, fantastic, buddy. so much better than uh, living bodies that might might not be living soon. Mm. You want me to uh, pour some water on you? You bit hot there. Uh, in my in my in my breeches, sir. In my breeches. <laughs> Open wide. I'm just gonna pop to the store a minute. Well, I'm pretty sure my spine's broken at the top, so my arms don't work. So I'm gonna have to lift my breeches up. Nah, that ain't. Bad. <laughs> I'll pour some water on you if you need it. Okay, guys, we we, we got a, we got a doctor coming from Strawberry to help this fella out. Oh, I love That's Strawberry great. doctors. Yeah, that those are the ones. <laughs> We call them the Berry Boys from where I'm from. Hey, oh, the Berry Boys be coming. <laughs> All right. Hopefully they'll come for you soon, then, sir. I'm going to have to get on with business. Yeah, I understand Mr. Jameson's business. Yep, he grows the backy, and you got to be growing the backy or you're going to get oh, you're gonna get back. I also uh, do alcohol on my own, by the way. Yeah, well, you didn't tell me nothing about that, so I won't be speaking for Mr. Mr. Jameson. 
You on there, Jimmy? Oh, yeah. I couldn't, couldn't see any of those tonics in the general store. This... Oh, I think you need to buy them from the doctor. I'm still oh, laying I'm here. What's happening? Store, Where's the doctor? Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe. But uh, I think yeah. I think you buy them from the doctor. Where did they say the doctor uh, was coming from? Yeah, was it, the there. doctor was coming from Strawberry? Left, I can't even open my map. I can't even see how far that is. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, I, I'm I fucking know. dead, man. Oh God, this this day has been chaos. Let me tell you. Yeah, hey, yeah. Tell me about it. I'm negative four dollars and I'm lying on the ground. Oh damn. Well, look at it this way, guys. Things can only go up. Hopefully. <laughs> up, up and away. You know, so yesterday I was locked up in this uh, jail here for kicking dogs, but I never kicked a dog in my life. Okay. Okay. It was, uh, Johnny's whispers going around, was it? No, nah, it was a. Uh, they they thought I was somebody that I wasn't. No. That happens time to time. They said, "Hey, you're a fat, bald guy," and I said, mm, "You know what? You're right." And they said, and then they tackled me and beat the shit out of me, and, I, and they said, "You know what? You're the wrong guy." And I said, "Well, I love the fact that you beat the shit out of me and choked me out, and that was fantastic." And I said, well, we won't find you for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. So they didn't find me and they let me loose and the only thing that was loose was my butthole. <laughs> yeah, Strawberry is far away, yeah, isn't it? There's been quite a bit of trouble in town it's recently. Like, it's like past Blackwater. Now, I don't. I don't even see any dogs. Here. They're like they're like forty-five dogs when uh, they accused me of kicking dogs. And I said, you know what? There are too many dogs. Someone should probably kick some of these dogs. And then they tackled me and choked me out. <laughs> Who the hell did that? Oh, that was the lawman. The lawman did that. <laughs> Serves you right for tackling, hitting the dogs. No, I did. <laughs> but I didn't do that. I said someone should probably go about doing that because there were about forty-five dogs running through the streets oh, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Must have liked his dogs. Yeah, I told him I was shining my uh, the bottom of my boot on their buttholes, and he did not like that one bit. <laughs> <laughs> How long's the doctor's office been all uh, refurbished? I mean, how how would you like me shining my boots up your butthole, huh? Well, <laughs> if you had smoked what I smoked, the dog would have been telling you the same thing. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> there was a golden retriever said, "Hey, shine your shoes, sir, right here," and he just shone him in my his keister. That must so have been, been some strong shit you were smoking, buddy. Well, well, well. Yeah, that's You've the fancy tobacco. Illegal products, have you now? No, no, no. It was just fancy tobacco. Fancy tobacco is the other word for swamp weed, I, I see. Yep, fancy tobacco. It's from the Orient, you know. You never want to... Go ahead, go ahead. Just, just, just tell us all the crimes you've done. You know? <laughs> hey, I'm on the ground, sir. My my brain might not be functioning properly. You cannot yeah, account had... this to anything legal. You know, we had, we had a couple of murders here the other day. They said the suspect had some, you know... It was me, sir. It was me. It was me. I did it. I killed everybody. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. See, you can't take that into account either, because I'm a I'm a knocked on the ground lunatic. <laughs> well, what did you say? I didn't hear you. Did you seriously have some murders the other day in town? Uh, you know, we always have murders in town. I don't know. Which they were all dogs. I mean, I, I mean, I class murder as like some dog little kicker. fucker going around actually jumping people, but I mean, uh, I'd say the rest of the deaths are just shootouts from <laughs> idiots. <laughs> yeah. I heard there was something up at the gypsy camp the other week with someone getting burnt, but that's... Uh, Goddamn yeah, gypsies. Gwen, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, Jimmy. You guys are laughing. No, I can't. <laughs> I don't think I've pushed my, myself that far to you. There's many doctors around this time of day. Shit is locked right now. Yeah, is, so, it, is he or she hot? Because the last he, <laughs> or excuse me, the last she doctor that was hot that was told to be coming, man, it should be a he. <laughs> I can't deny he was quite hot. He had a little white beret on. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a heat doc a he doctor this time around as well. Oh uh, man, I hope it's not the same one. He's gonna make me practice the uh nah. 
You know when you read them signs, it's like the oral? I don't know the signs, to be honest with you. You go, e -o 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 -o, e you know, the oral. I mean, you're getting you to check your eyes. Oh, yeah. I don't know if he's checking my eyes or checking my throat, but uh, he's like, first, hey, uh, get ready for the oral the exam, and I always do it. <laughs> so, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. A he doctor makes you give you an oral? Gives you an oral? <laughs> 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 he hangs a sign over in the corner and says, hey, can you read this? And he walks up real close to me and uh, takes his britches off and says, read the sign. And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this fella on the ground, he's been hit, hit his heart pretty hard. Hey, pretty hard, okay. I'm just going to stick by horse twice. Holy Sixth. shit, there's a little man over here. Oh, my, I'm up on his, he's grabbed my rear end. <laughs> I think we're actually... This, is this our doctor? <laughs> this is a different doctor, at least. Okay. Oh, hey, Doc. Are are you a doctor? Yes, is this your first time being treated by a... No, I had a little uh, lesbian doctor. Uh, lesbian man doctor. I, I don't know how to describe these kind of things. Uh, but it was, a, it was a little lesbian man doctor. He took care of me earlier. Okay. Um, is a lesbian you, man doctor you wear, really? like a... I have no idea what you did you said there, sir, but uh yes he did uh, give me oral anal and uh, all the situations you were talking no, no, about. No, that's what I that's not what I mean. What I mean <laughs> is um you know Three you three fingers in the end and two in two in the mouth. No, what I mean is you uh, you you should probably be like unconscious right now and you do your slash do's slash hurts and slash me's to kind of communicate. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yes. Uh, sorry. Yes. What is this? <laughs> what happened to my? I can't even remember. I so. I'm just going to check Anus. your vitals. Good. See what the situation is here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that part's good. Okay. <laughs> uh, pulse. What is the pulse doing? Oh, what did I do? Oh no, what did I do? Was it uh, an accident? An accident or? That was an accident. I. Shit. All right, we gotta we gotta figure out where we were. <laughs> where, where were we? Fuck. I think I accidentally respawned. I don't know where I was. Fuck. I'm here. I like can't remember even where I died. We're by the horse. Like somewhere down here, maybe. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. Oh no! He was doing his doctor RP, and I and I fucking goofed it. I somehow hit the button that brought up like the spawn spawn in a specific city, which I don't think you're supposed to be able to do. Don't worry, we'll find him. We'll get back. I have no idea though. I have no clue. I have no idea where we are. I I can't remember the last like thirty minutes. <laughs> I remember my horse dying like a long time ago. Oh my god, deliveries. Okay, that's not a doctor's office. Help me, I need a help me. We'll just we'll just yell. We'll we'll, we'll find out someone else to bring us the doctor. Maybe in the in the stables. Help me, help me, sir. Help me. Help me. Hey, hey, mister. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Uh, oh, you're deep in thought. I apologize for hitting you in the face. I shouldn't have hit him in the face. I should not have hit that guy. I'm pretty sure that's bad. That's bad in our RP. You don't just, like, punch a guy. Was I in roads? I don't know what to do, because I could get my horse, because my horse is here, right? 
Like, is this breaking RP if I just, like, if I yoink my horse from here and ride back to where I was? Well, I'm, I'm taking my, I don't give a fuck. I'm taking my horse. Because, uh, that was a problem. Uh, my, my character, yeah, he's kind of like the town drunk. He's kind of just a, a screw up. He's kind of like the town screw up. He like, he like kind of is trying to make it happen, but, uh, everything just doesn't happen the right way. I don't remember where the, f where the hell were we? Were we in roads? We, I, I, we must have, right? Right? We must have gone to Rhodes. I think we were at the Rhodes doctor's office. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Like, I can't think of another place that we were. So, that's my guess. Because they rode me pretty far. Yeah, I, do, I don't remember either. See, uh, oh my god. I, it's going to be interesting, but I was fucking around over here. I remember like jumping that fence and riding through this property and the closest thing to this property is roads. And I remember sa someone saying something about like, oh, you should just blah, blah, blah roads. As long as I don't kill my horse on the, on the way there. Like it's not it's not the biggest deal that I get back there. I just feel like I killed some like some level of RP for these guys. So I, I kinda wanna get back there and uh, make sure that's alright with them. Oh shit. Okay, my horse is not dead. No, that's good. Come on. Come on, horse. I'm here. Okay, we just gotta go directly directly west. Man, I, I wish the mini map. <laughs> I really wish the mini map worked on uh, on this uh, custom server. <laughs> you are just blind. Woo! Roads. Okay, so we must be like at roads. Oh, come! On. Hey. Chill out, horse. Oh, we were we were in roads. We were in roads. Okay, okay. I'm sl I'm slowly remembering. I gotta give this damned horse a carrot. I had 20 carrots and the server ruined it. <laughs> the sur the, I had so many carrots. I had full health my horse and my, and it all failed because of the server crashing. Oh, it's so foggy. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> I have to be, I have to be super careful here because these guys uh do not like me. Oh, hello, hello boys. Uh, uh, I'm trying to find the doctor's office because I kind of like my, my my head exploded, you know. It's uh, right over this way, buddy, if you follow me. Yeah, this is the guy. This is the guy. Right. Yeah, so we'll, we'll head down to the hallway. Just in this building here behind me. I think the doctor's waiting for you. Oh, uh, thank you so much, sir. No problem, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. I, ca I, I can't believe we made it back. Oh, let me find okay, the doctor again. Uh, the doctor. Where's the doctor? Oh, what a nice place. What kind of piano is this? Let's see if I have any emotes I can... Is there like typing? No, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> That's not the one. I had... Hey there, sir. What what are you doing, sir? Well, I was uh I was in here earlier and uh Yeah, my head exploded, so uh mm -hmm. kinda looking for the doctor that was trying to treat me yeah. earlier. Yeah. Um uh, take a seat, uh the doctor will be any moment here. Yeah, yeah, where should I take that shit? Shit? Yeah, there's no bath there doesn't seem to be a a potty or a latrine anywhere, so uh, where should I be taking the sheet that you're uh, talking about? 
You don't see the, you see the chat, huh? I mean, that's, that's flat. That's going to just press right up into my bottom if I take a sheet there. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Stand, stay stand up. I'll, I'll stay standing, sir. <laughs> I know he said take a seat, but uh, you, anyone with an accent, you got to kind of fuck with it. So he said take a sheet, and so I know where you want me to take a shit. <laughs> I mean, maybe we can try. Oh, no, I can't. Maybe I can do it the hard way. If I'm really good at, like, RP, I should be able to do this. But I'm not good at RP, so we'll see if I can do it. Hey, sir, sorry, I, uh, was just sorting something out. Oh, hey there, miser. Uh, yeah, uh, my head exploded, I uh, kind of disappeared and woke up somewhere oh, else. No, that's okay, I, um... I didn't know whether that was the case. I thought maybe it was. I'm glad that you came back. Yeah, I, I had I honestly I had no idea where I was, so uh, I tried to just come to the closest uh, doctor place that I could. No, you did the right thing. I'm. You said you did come back, so now we can get everything. Getting praises. Get for you. Do you want to Fantastic. Down? Say that one more time. Oh, I, I said um, now we can we can get you looked at and sorted. Do you want to lay down? Yeah, how would I go about uh, uh doing you, that? Use your Z muscle. Easy enough. Okay. So yes, uh let's The usual way of uh, dealing with these kinds of situations is to um you know continue on, as it were. So yes, I'm just checking for Okay, just checking your pulse, making sure that you're right. Relax. You just do what you gotta do, Doc. Are you on patrol? Uh, let me let me go to the just get some water. I'll be right back. Okay. So when I check your injuries, what I'm looking for is, uh, you know, you can do your do your slash hurts, your slash knees your slash do's to kind of uh, give me an indication as to what your injuries are because only you really know um, what's going on there. Well, so you know what, Doc, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I can't yeah, even so remember. I think I got kicked in the head by a horse. No, that's uh, that's okay. So you use your slash hurt to say, like, uh, well, you know that you were kicked by a horse, but I don't... But you're the only person who knows where you were kicked by the horse and everything. Like you choose that for yourself. Does that make sense? You're like you're the only person. Perfect. So I so you, it looks like you've got. Uh, maybe you have a bump on your head, or you've got some bruising on your head. Yeah, like, I think y'all that, that my horse on, almost broke my jaw. Maybe cracked my eye socket a little bit. Okay, so. He f he fucked with, me up real good. With those injuries, I, yes, I'd, uh, it made me see something like, uh, come on, man, <laughs> just give me something. Oh. It's probably just someone hunting. So it made me see something like, like this, or... What is happening? Something like this. If you if you haven't, I really would recommend Oh no. Oh uh, I think my head exploded. Okay. We'll get back in. But I th uh so head pop for those new to RP. It's just a general crash. And I've had I've had a couple general crashes like that, uh Especially around doctors, for some reason. Like, every time I'm down, and I'm getting observed by a doctor, like, 90% I'm having a head, head crash. Or a head pop. Every other, like, pretty much... Excuse me. Pretty much, I don't think I've had a head pop. 
uh, other than that. RPing is like the worst time to get hiccups. Uh, take a deep breath. Hold my breath. Oh yeah, I got hey. hiccups. Oh yeah, I'm back, sir. You want me? To, you want me to lay on the ground yeah, again? Just lay. Can just lay down again. Here we go. Sorry, sir. It'll be a moment if that's okay. Face down, that's ass okay. up. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to ask that you uh, you leave the doctor's office while I'm sorting it out, and then if you're happy to wait, it shouldn't be uh, it shouldn't be the longest amount of time. Don't look at me, sir. Okay. Hey, That's you just let me know where you want my ass. If you want it higher up, you just let me know. Uh, like I mentioned, it is a. Uh, you part of that security company? We would treat this as a uh, as like going on. So obviously you were you were hit to the head, and would be unconscious. Um. Yeah, my my jaw is pretty broken. And, uh, yeah, so what you do is you use your slash hurts, or your slash me's, or your slash, uh, do's to kind of show me that rather than, you know, using your, your voice box. Does that make sense? Uh, sorry, I just sent one down. Time to get the wagon. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I mean. There you so go. It's just, it's just <laughs> I don't know if that's what he wants. <laughs> to me, he's just doing gibberish. Uh, I'm just like, how how long how long until I can just go back okay. and farm farm my tobacco? <laughs> that's all I want to know. Yeah, I'm going to send a telegram to Dr. Klaus. He's actually probably. No, no, no. I swear, if another doctor has to come and give his opinion, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I just got kicked in the head by a horse twice. Like, can I, can I go, please? Like, I don't think it needs to be this serious. Yeah, they're they're bringing doctors in from like different counties. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Are we? Are we bringing doctors in from different like counties? Oh, oh yes, we very hope. Oh yes, we, this, we're so bringing. We're, we actually yeah, are. My range of expertise. All right, I, I guess I might need something like that. Uh, we're from like a different link from from strawberry. Um. I should have just run away. I should have run away. I should never have come back. Who? Oh. Hello? I think you, uh... Oh, yeah, I think my, my voice kind of just, uh, did its own thing. It would have been bad if you hadn't come back, I will tell you that much. Nah, I, did, I always do my best to do the right thing. It's just, yes, you've got a rather major... Oh, come on. Oh my my head's gone. Oh, I hot mic I hot mic the uh <laughs> that and nah, I got DC'd again. Unlucky we'll we'll be back in, in like a minute. I think their server's having a couple uh, issues. But we'll be back in real quick. And 
in the exact same spot. I accidentally hot, hot mic'd while I was like, oh, I shouldn't have come back. <laughs> he was like, oh, yeah, you should have come back. I was like, oops. But I've been really good about uh, RP on the server so far. It depends. If you are not, if you are not uh, an active person in the queue, in the queue, like if you're not like uh, registered on the server already, it will you'll just get put put into a queue. So it'll take you a while. But I was already in the server, so it rec recognized me as that. So it's really really quick, really quick for me. If I wasn't, it'd take forever. Oh. Is the uh, is the doctor still here? I had the same problem like you. <laughs> nah, fair enough. I'll pass out when he gets here then. <laughs> I guess I guess the doctor DC too. So not the, not a big deal. How you doing there, Mister? I'm uh, doing good, I think. Yeah. I'm, uh... I'm the person who who's writing everything down. You always write things down that you need it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an intern and I try to become a doctor. So. Um, oh, you're you trying to, to become a doctor, huh? Yeah. First, you have to write uh, everything down and uh, do a lot of paperwork first. Yeah, well, I can't even read, so you're probably closer to being a doctor than me. Uh, yeah, if you can't read, then you also can't write. Yeah, you can't write, but uh, you, you can't read while you write. I can't even left, sir, and don't even start with trying to write. I don't know if he got that. He didn't get that. Well, I can't left, but I can't write. You take a pencil, and you take uh, from up to down then you have already an eye well sir I got two eyes and every time I bring a pencil to my eyes and go up and down eh, it hurts it's not, not not the greatest feeling okay yeah I, never mind forget <laughs> what I said <laughs> okay Sorry, hey, hey that's the doctor that's the doctor right yeah, there that's the doctor yeah it's just a uh, lay down for me and we'll, uh, we'll get going again. <laughs> uh, this time with feeling. Okay. Yeah, let me just hold on this uh, ottoman here. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Excuse me. Got the hiccups. It is very late for me, though. Maybe that's why I have the hiccups. Howdy, love. Hello. Oh, it's the, the other doctor that saw me earlier. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, well, I'm just seeing how bad it is now. And then we're going to uh, go from there. So, I was kicked the man in the jaw, so... <gasps> Ooh... Hey, you got right, me no. twice. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't normally have hiccups. Like I generally never have. And it's probably like the first yeah, time yeah. in like six months I probably had hiccups. But this is the latest I've been up in a long time. So well, congrats on doctor. Oh, thank you very much. I maybe I see that you're a doctor as well. I am now. Yes. Okay, so I'm just looking to see which kind. Of Break this is. Uh, f now a fragment. I always thought hiccups were something to do with like you not getting enough oxygen to the brain, but uh. 
Yeah, I was gonna it say. is 7.30 in the morning for me. And, uh, yeah, and I should have been in bed, like, seven and a half hours ago. Either but I was having too much fun doing pain. this. So, I think I think my body's, like, going, hey, you need to not be awake right now. Do we want to try scooching him a bit? He might, you know, oh. his eyesight might be weird in that corner. Oh, that's true. Maybe let's just, uh... I'm unable to. You don't know what I like. He keeps talking with that broken jaw. I just don't understand. I was gonna say, well, you should be holy. If, if you still get dark, then it's not. not, not it can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. Like a hairline. Bad. Hairline at most. Mm. So, yes, this, uh, this break. <laughs> only <laughs> you know how bad this break is. So, you you kind of have to show me with your, your slash hurts, your slash me's, and your slash do's, okay? I believe we met before, haven't we? <laughs> hey, that's, uh, I can't really do anything with that information. I move him again. Yes. Just checking to see which of these three breaks it may be. So yeah, just use your like slash do slash hurt slash me just to oh jaw looks mangled. Okay. Does it look mangled in what kind of break would it look like out of these breaks? Like I said, if it's fragmented, it may be, uh... I'm trying to work with these guys. They're they're going really hard okay, with this. Okay, it's a fracture. Okay. We can... <laughs> they're, going, fracture. they're going real hard with the RP. There, there are people that, like, really, really, like, are all about it. So this guy's all about it. Yaki. I appreciate it's cool. patience. It's just, uh... Anything Some... this close to the gums or the teeth, I didn't want <laughs> Sometimes to... it's just too much. <laughs> you're losing them all or anything. Please don't go get a dentist. Like, I don't want to lay on the ground, please. Please. <laughs> it is about my bedtime, sir. <laughs> is, she, is she knocking? Hmm. Is uh, knocking? I don't know, but is the patient knocking? Oh, I'm walking across the floor. You might be able to hear my oh, oh, okay. My footsteps. Uh, I, I was thinking the patient was knocking on heaven's door. Oh, no, no. Um, no, we're waiting on Dr. Bear. We're waiting on Dr. <laughs> Dr. Yaki to come. He should be able to uh, take a look at this. Uh, See, these, these are the kind of moments in RP servers that kind of, like, generate character yeah, stories, but I don't know the doctor's name. Like, if I knew him, it would be, know, it'd be much be It'd be a much better really character story. Yeah. I, I wasn't expecting to... I don't usually have these or if there were more kids, people involved with me being kicked by the horse. Just, uh, you know what? It's Every time I get, I stay with my horse. But because no one... No one's really kind of involved. It kind of seems like they should just kind of move it on with me. If there were more people involved, it'd be like, yeah, yeah, totally. Let's build like a story off this. But it's kind of like I got kicked in the head by a horse t twice, and then uh, that was about it. Like, let's just let's just move forward. <laughs> oh, like... oh, good day. Who's that? It's um, Yaki. Uh, um, you always I'm change your look. I... <laughs> I'm just in my um, Sandani clothing. Sorry for that. Okay. 
So it was something with a broke. Okay, so his, as you can see, his jaw is looking very mangled right now. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like it's a. I mean, they're doing like a, a they're fracture. doing a it's hard, a... hardcore job of RPing. No, like, I appreciate. It. It's a little bit difficult to get too much information. The only thing is, I'm very aware that this is very close to his teeth, and I wouldn't want okay. to go about this in a way that's going to. <laughs> My guy didn't have a lot of teeth to, to, to begin damage. with. Um, okay. My first, Have you... uh, first jaw, so... <laughs> yeah, understandable. Um, no, you, 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 will, uh, you will be doing good. Um, it's, it's good to be a little bit cautious. Um, have you been able to, to see if it's uh, more of a hairline or do... You... I've been trying. All I've been able to get from it is that it's mangled. I've, uh, let me just... Uh, one more time. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. I've had you know that's what's going on with me. There we go. Thank you. No problem. Oh, I had a little bit of a I had pop earlier, so I'm not, not looking very friendly. Okay. So yes, I've been trying this uh normally go backwards it is quite mangled. It's quite new to the county from what I could tell. Um, okay, but um, but what I would um, suppose that uh, that we can do um, is that we we start to um, let's say um, there we go. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. Um, they they appreciated it. Okay. Yeah. So um, with that, then then it's more um, that we need to. Put it in place again, and um, probably there can be some hairline. Um, but I, I think we can see that more in uh, when, when we start to say feel the the, um, the bone itself and um, so put it in place. Oh my God! Please. And if needed, um, <laughs> put some uh, of the um, cement just to to help it a bit. But otherwise, let's not. I just want to go back big plates and, the and growing the tobacco. Thing, yeah, let, let's see if someone else can um, can take over after that. I mean, it's it's not it's not. Uh, I, I even have thirteen here. packs of cigarettes as well. So, as normal, make an incision. Yep. I still want to back. <laughs> Look how hardcore they're being about being doctors, though. Like. I got kicked by a horse like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> um, hello again. Howdy. Okay, it seems like I'm getting help now. Yeah, it feels like 30 or 40 minutes. Which, which this is the easily the longest accident I've been a part of. So, okay, so I'm just going to make a small incision here. And, and I don't and think see. this should have taken this long. Like, it was it was a random person's horse just that kicked, easy to have he a just kicked me twice. <laughs> what are we looking at? Yeah, it should be okay. Oh, just going to pop it back in place and use some silicone cement to hold it, hopefully. And then, yeah, exactly. Could we, exactly. Could we wire the jaw shut with that? No, don't wire my jaw. Please, please don't wire my jaw shut, sir. <laughs> I think my guy is moaning because he's leaned into the wall and pushing off. This is the best healthcare possible i think <laughs> I, I can't deny that okay you, they failed trying to put the job back in place still. fantastic yes uh, i will do that uh, what is happening i think i'm being too gentle maybe a little bit okay <laughs> what takes a grip of his head. <laughs> what are they doing? 
Oh, not again. He failed trying to put his jaw back in place. Okay. Other side. Other side. It's just a. Uh... Please refrain from speaking, sir. It's just trying to help me. It's trying to help me, Dodgers. My character is still just moaning. Okay, we're going to go about this a slightly different way. Uh, okay, let's get some second spin next time. Man, I was I was so set. I'm just starving to death in here. I I had eaten a full meal. I'm so sorry for abruptly leaving early like that. Like, uh, oh, no, uh, no worries. Yeah, no my worries. head popped and I was just, I didn't feel like dealing with the train ride. So. No, no, no worries, no worries. Uh, I think. Um, you understood. You understood. So he went up to uh, strawberry. All right, alrighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third round, Mister. I was just saying, I mean, I was trying to get turn. Come on, man, y'all sit here. Okay, we're going to do it like that. Uh, oh, realign. There we go. Realign, yeah. Very nice. I go up to people, they give me oh, okay, my uncle. Like, oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> hey, and you said don't use a metal plate. I wouldn't re such, well, I such a thin no. bone. Yeah, bone. exactly. And, and um, I would say it's better that um, we yeah, refer him to remember. someone that is more experienced when it comes to. They probably feed could and all that feed so that me. Don't mess anything up for but him. I have Maybe found that criminals that feed me more than, okay. than it, anybody in established. I think we are there someone. Yeah, exactly. Someone has at least been talking about it. I, I know we have um, the osteologist, Dr. Ella. Bro, there's no way I need another doctor. Like, I, please leave me alone. Did I say that right? The bone doctor. <laughs> please. I just got kicked by a horse, man. There's, no one takes this along. There's three people looking after me. I'm I know how to fish. You just please just say picks pick picks patient up, lets him out the door. I th this is too much. This is honestly too too much for for what happened. So this was um fragment. Yes, sir. Um, he seems it, it, to it, have it's such a weird place to bandage. No, I, no, I, what the fuck? I <laughs> no it's it's nearby. um it's really hard. So I would say if you have something else than a bandage I'm, that I'm you can put on as a as as a covering the, the could, area, that would be better. A compress, but it's not exactly ideal. It's not gonna hold. He's gonna have to hold that in place. Oh my god! Yeah, please. Actually, so um, I, I I'll be in my head making toast. I'm sure. I was. Yes. Uh, Said so it's, it's better to leave the the salve there and and um, giving a, a small yard that he can let's say. But when he cleans the face, put on a more. Yeah, you, you get you guys got popsicles. Okay. Um, <laughs> I guess they don't got popsicles. <laughs> there's nothing else that we can. Or we can like wrap the bandage horizontally first, like on the lower mouth area, then some on the to... jaw. I Rep it from crotch, crotch to mouth. Rep it across. Okay, we can do that. It's just a. Uh, not gonna be able to speak yeah, or I'm trying to very imagine well. Like... I can't really imagine. Yeah, I look. Yeah. I'm just going to check to see if there's anything else, and then we'll, we'll go through with him when he's awake. Yeah. Oh, I'm not awake. When did the anesthesia happen? Someone should have mentioned that. I would have been silent okay. forever. Make sure there are no other injuries. Okay, everything else looks fine. Okay. Alright, I'm glad he didn't say foon. <laughs> well, let me just grab my smelling salts then. Oh, uh, would you two take a step away just so I don't, uh... Yep.
Okay, there we go. Yeehaw! Whoa, whoa man, what smells well, like mama's cooking? You don't cooking? want to be talking too much, sir. You don't want to be talking too much. Um, who who got my mama's cooking? Um, so you were kicked very hard by a horse, sir. So we're just going to ask you a few questions. Just was to start it you? With, and then we're going to go through what... Uh, oh. uh, was it, was it you, little there. man? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. Okay. Sir, sir, look at me, look at me. Who the hell hit me? Um, okay, I'm looking. Uh, okay. I'm uh, friendly so now, I'm friendly. Can you just, I just tell me what color the lampshade above us is? Can you tell me? Look at the, the colors of the flowers on the lampshade. Uh, black and, uh, white. You see that? Yeah, this one right here? So That looks like yeah, me, the like, the uh... Flowers above us, just here. Could you tell me what color they are? Yeah, some sort of, like, gray scale. Like, uh, black. You know, like, uh, lighter black yeah, and, uh... With my ears, is this... And maybe a lighter no, gray. Yeah, and then, uh, okay. maybe a... Maybe a or darker, like flowers. a darker black, and then maybe a lighter black, and then a lighter gray, no, no, oh. no, a darker gray, and then like a lighter, lighter, uh, lighter you, black. Are you you colorblind, sir? Or is it just this is always how it is, or is it? No, nah, uh... I, I like all races, sir. Okay, uh, could you come back from five for me? Yep, yep, yep. A, B, C, D, E, okay, F, G. Can you tell me where we are right now? Huh. Hold up. Let me check real quick. What was his name, by the way? What was his name? I will grab that. I do not name. recognize the outside of this building, sir. I cannot okay, lie to so you. you. don't know where we are. And I'm just going to hold something out in my hand. You just tell me what this smells like, okay? You know what this is? Oh my goodness, that smells like mama's cooking. Uh, anything more specific? Yeah, she used to make turkey. And she'd put, uh, you know, turkey every morning. We eat turkey, and uh, it smelled just like that. Oh, I see. This is my hat. Your, um... your, your, your hat's a turkey. No, no. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and say you almost certainly have a concussion. Uh, to be fair, you've been hit very hard by a horse. It's broken your jaw, so talking, you shouldn't be doing too much of that, really. Yeah, that doesn't um, feel very good. I'm also highly recommending that you go and see... Uh, who, who should we send you to? Do we know who the... Uh, I, I do not know who that is. Who's Let the me see if I can find them. I'll I'll go find him. Don't worry. No 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 no. Oh, sir sir sir, you stay here. Just, just stay oh, okay here okay. Moment. Don't I I know that you've. Uh... I thought you were telling me to go find someone. Oh no no no, you don't worry. Um, could I just get your name, sir? I didn't take your name earlier. Oh yeah, my my name is Marcel Marceau. I'm uh I'm fabulous. Uh, how do you spell your last name? Sorry, Marcel. So Marcel is M A R C E L, and then Marceau oh. is M A R C E A uh, U. Okay. And how much pain would you say you're in on a scale of one to ten? One being, oh, I could, you know, I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling all right. And ten being. This is the most excruciating pain I've ever been in. I want to die. I am the pain. You are the pain. Um, <laughs> well, it's um, let's. Um, do we have? What, what would you put? I am the pain on the pain scale. Uh, so it's all so about me. Not, it's me. You, I am the pain. I am you, the pain. You're not in. But you're not in pain now. Oh no, I never felt nothing since I was a boy. Okay. We may need to refer A little boy. More... We may need to refer you to more than one doctor then. Tiny little boy. Maybe you refer... <laughs> okay. Little baby boy. No pain. Nope. Okay. 
Like Jeez. a baby. Like a little baby. Tiny baby. With no pain. Okay. Now, I'm also almost 100% sure that you have a severe concussion. Not with this hat on. What's so special about uh, holy smokes, holy, what the bejeebus is that? Oh, don't worry, don't worry, it's just a... It's a skinwalker. What? It's a skinwalker. No, he just, uh, he just had a little bit of a headache and he's woken up. Um, but... What? Oh my god, he changed colors and shrunk. Now he just looks like a little boy. So... You know we... You mean to Dr. Isaiah? He's... Oh, well, I'm a doctor. You're a doctor? Yeah, I'm a doctor. You need to see a doctor, I'll be your doctor. No, that's fine. I think we've got enough, enough doctors here. Yeah, um, that's probably true. There's a bunch of people here and look like doctors. So, at least for the next 48 hours, you're going to want to stay awake. Um, like, like not sleeping. Like not sleeping? Man, the first thing I wanted to do was go to sleep. Any, uh, yep. Well, yeah, you can't you can't fall asleep. Uh, you've got to go and you know keep yourself busy, form activities, go out and do things. You know, keep someone with you if you, if you'd like. We can try and make sure that you do you have any friends around. Me and um, this cattleman are my only friend. Do you want to put the put the gun down in the doctor's office? Oh, my apologies, sir. That's okay. Um, Not from around here. No, that's okay. It's just yet yeah, pulling out a pulling out a gun in a small space like this. You're gonna, gonna surprise some people. Um, but it's cool. Look how cool it is. Look at that. Look, it, it, I can, I can like, gun. I can I shoot, shoot that bottle right there. See that here. bottle? Like those could be shot. Don't shoot those bottles. Look, the lawmen are right next to where they you don't want. To they never know. They you wouldn't them. tell on us. We're all doctors here. Okay. Um, I've never dealt with a concussion this serious, assuming that we have amnesia. We believe we're doctor um, because when the people who he was with said that he was more normal before. Yeah, we woke oh, okay. up in a doctor's office. Must mean we're a doctor. I, I can, if if I may, Edmund. Um, mm -hmm. I could recommend that you give him um, two of the. Um, Colas, the bubble colas that we have in, in storage. Oh, free stuff. And um, if we take one of those each hour, then, then at least we we know that he will be, let's say, for the coming four or five hours. Um, take some drugs every days. hour, gotcha. Uh, no, oh, it's just, it's just really good good things. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. Tasting. Take a step away from me just so I can access this cupboard. The doors are really wide. Yeah, no worries. I'm only starving and uh, dying of thirst. Oh, we'll sort that out as well. Um, That's how you get free stuff. You just mention it. Okay. Now oh, my Bobby flask is empty. Is. Yeah, exactly. Excuse me, have you seen a Mr. Nibble here? Oh. Uh, who's Nibble? Uh, hold up, hold up. Oh, wait a second. Someone's talking about Nibbles out here. No, not Nipples. Okay. Nippleheim. Nippleheim. So, In the kingdom of Nipples. Not a pee. No, no, no. It's I a not, nipple. I've not, not, not seen a nipple pee. Nippleheim. <laughs> Nippleheim. Nippleheim, the king of Nipples. Nipple. Does it mean high nipples? Howdy, howdy. Ooh, how are you doing? They're looking for Nippleheim. Mr. Nippleheim. I don't uh, well, know who that is. I'm wondering if the nipples are looking down a rip. It, 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 it's a deputy. I have his horse. Oh. <laughs> We're being obnoxious. Okay. okay. So I've just given you some food, sir, because I do understand that you're quite hungry. Okay. Uh, Mr. I'm Nipper also Han. just going to uh, give you two bubbly colas. Now, oh, thank you kindly, mister. Well, I thought I was going to give you two bubbly colas. I thought yeah, you were going to give me some food as well, but I I don't have none of that either. You don't, you don't have any food? Here, let's come in here and make sure oh, we're... No, no, no. Come, come back, come back. Just, uh, I've got it all ready to give to you. Okay. 
Sorry, my something happened to me. That's okay. Um. I was looking for Nippleheim. Let's check the cupboard. Give me a second. No, they think it's Nippleheim. Oh, do any of you know a Nippleheim? <laughs> Nippleheim. I've seen Nippleheim no before. Yep. You you seen Nippleheim? I've been there. Oh, you've been there. What did you find when you were there? Big old boobies. Big old boobies. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what's boobies? Uh, yeah, and, and Lord uh, Odin himself uh, bequeathed the, the largest uh, breasts uh, mankind has ever seen. That's not that. Nippleheim. No, it was only Nippleheim. You have to go to behind to, to find the booties. Not the glutinous maximus, the, the hunk of badunkas. No, that's, where, that's in behind. <laughs> what? Hunk of badunkas? <laughs> Yeah, hunk of badunkas. Yeah, nipple hind, and there's bee hind, and, and you know, that's about hind. those are the two hinds I know of. It is your boobless, the boobies. Oh, boobies. 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 The things on your uh, chest, miss. Don't be here. We said we're trouble taking this uh, bubbly color out of the store cupboard. Oh, you... Yeah, I can see if I can get it get up. I don't know why it's. I've been stuck in there. Hmm. If I just wander away as like a, a mental patient, is that oh, bad? Nipple. You said it, Miss Edna. Oh, hey, you trying to find Nippleheim as well? Hello, other new doctor. How are you doing? Maybe, Hi, I, I, I could just get I could get free food. There is the possibility of getting free beverages from this guy, or I could just like wander away as a lunatic. I kind of am into the idea of just wandering away as a lunatic. <laughs> just like fucking like scoot off. Oh, I crashed. No, there's no way I crashed. Game. All right, we're, we'll get back in. <laughs> the second I try to get away from the doctors. So I crashed interacting with the doctors twice, which were the first like two crashes like ever. We're, get, we're getting right back in, though. No worries, no worries. I'm going to actually hit the bathroom real quick, uh, and hopefully uh, I'm wandering far off from where they, they saw me. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. Quieter, and, and, and we can take right, the test. Can, okay. we do, can we take the test with whiskey? <laughs> you, you, can, you, you can take a uh, whiskey. Where those nipple, Nippleheim nipple ladies go? go? Oh, dang. <laughs> I go for the milk. <laughs> okay, Just... okay. Do you need help, Let's sir? Go. Oh, oh now I think. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Mm, praise Nibelheim, you know. To you? Here, you drink one of these every hour. Here we go for free stuff. Hour and it, will, uh, it will help keep you awake, okay? All right, thanks, Doc. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, well, right they're quite nice as well. Give you some bu sorry, we bubbly cola. Oh, did we? Yes. Okay, and like I it's said... For a um, jaw. I'll be back. Oh, I broke my jaw. It's another, oh. It's probably my horse. Same horse. Yeah, Lack, a, likes to I kick him a, in the jaw. Oh, Lord. It's a little bit more complicated. Oh, thanks. Um, thanks again, Doc. Yes, I'm 
sorry uh, thank you for being so patient no you're it's all good i uh and yes I'm I, pretty... I would recommend if you are new to the county oh uh, if, in your little uh, if you, in your little book no in your little uh you know in, in your pockets there's a little book and i would highly recommend just going through some of the things in that just to just to help you out while you're new in county oh you're yeah and my little guidebook there huh? your little guidebook yes yeah, Can I've been I've been doing pretty question? good, Doc. Thanks, appreciate you. Oh, yes, ma'am. Do you know where any of the sheriffs are? Are they doing a call right now or something? All I'm gonna tell you, don't kick that dog. They'll oh, kill I'm you. Sure. I'm not gonna um, kick a dog. Why would I kick I a dog? Well, I was polishing my shoe on a dog um, just I'm like sorry. that the other day, and say, they Sinclair? put me in jail. There's a lot of uh, Hufflepuff over here. No, no I know. Sir, um, hold on, I'll kicking a dog like that. Okay. I haven't seen any of them. I just woke up. Okay, well, uh, good Sarah, morning. Praise, praise Nibbleheim. Well. Good morning. Have, have you been behaving oh, yourself? Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. All right, let's, <laughs> let's get back to what we were doing. Let's see if I can get my horse out from this stable because we couldn't get it in St. Denis. It was a nice RP interaction with, with everybody. Why are there three of the same exact horse there? That is not right. Just sh shut up, little boy. Give me my horse. There is no... Where's my horse? Oh, he's in the St. Denis stables now. What the hell, bro? Why does it keep teleporting my horse? Can I steal one of these? Oh, shit. Oh, I can... Yoink? Alright, no one knows. Nobody knows. Yeah, we, that was literally an hour. <laughs> we literally wasted an hour. I'm pretty sure this is someone's horse, but I'm pretty sure there were like three clones of it. So I don't know if I get in trouble for stealing horses like that or not, but we're going to ride this thing to death, so it's not going to matter. So if you can see the ex exclamation point going over the... Uh, Thunderbolt icon down there. That's his the horse's stamina. <laughs> I'm about to kill it by running it this fast, but uh Oh shit. I hear another person riding. You know nobody will know. I got kidnapped earlier. I don't I don't really want to run into that same situ situation. I still had the same thirteen cigarettes I was trying to sell earlier. Oh my god, okay, that's what we're doing. Ignore this guy, please don't see me, or just do your own thing. Oh, my horse is getting pissed. Yeah, we need to sell these cigarettes, so we're not negative four dollars. At least we got fed and we got free drink, though. <laughs> That's not too bad. Oh my god, what is happening to me? Okay, alright, not my horse. No, please, come back. I need you. I need you, horse. Please. I won't run you into the ground. Before I had a horse, before I had my own horse, <laughs> I was asking a lot of people for some awkward rides. It was, uh, it was, it was definitely an interesting era. What is going on with my guy? We're not even sprinting. We're just walking. Ah, oh, this horse. And I, my guy needs a bath so bad. I, I, am I okay? My guy, uh, my health is pretty good now. I think the doctor put me to full health, so I think we're all right. I think we could take a, at least one kick to the face. <laughs> when we got the back to back kicks to the face from the horse that an hour ago, <laughs> that's what causes problems. I still can't even believe the second kick like knocked us out. I like, cause we were pretty pretty much fine after the first kick, and then I got back up and it just he immediately kicked me again. I was like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Chill, no, what is going on? Chill, horse. We're not even sprinting. We're not even sprinting. Like that guy's sprinting. We're just trotting. Get my horse while we're here. That horse sucks. Get back in with the cattle where you belong, Hayseed. Oh, 
Leonard, where are you at? There you are, Leonard. Oh yeah, my horse. My horse way better. It's still kind of goofed from earlier. When some some dude killed my horse earlier. <laughs> he, he stole my horse as a prank and then rode it around the corner straight into a pole. And my horse just died. <laughs> and he was like, dude, I am really sorry. I think your horse is dead. <laughs> but we were able to pull it out at the, uh, at the stable. So it wasn't the worst thing. No, just get off. Just get off. Okay, thank you. All right, nice. Okay, we tied it up. Yeah, poor Leonard. Leonard's a lesbian, though. Leonard doesn't like running off with anybody but other lady horses. <laughs> so we're at negative four dollars. We should make like fifty bucks here. That's what I'm hoping. Like we had thirteen cigarette cartridges. Anything over fifty, good. Sixty-nine dollars. Oh my goodness! Hell yeah. We did great. We did fantastic. Like we look. So all the stuff on our horse pretty much costs like sixty-five dollars. The satchels and the and the uh, and the saddle, and the horse itself is like a hundred bucks. But I got that for free. And now we got sixty-five bucks. So we can feed ourselves. Hey there, lady. That's a that's a nice blue horse you got there. Oh, you like her? Yeah, she's pretty. Yeah, yours is pretty cute too. Yeah, this is Leonard. She's a lesbian, so just look out. You might take oh, your your blue lady she might away from take you. Delight. I mean, I got nothing but ladies, so she would love that. Yeah, Leonard likes little ladies. Oh, that's lovely. I think there's no issue with that. Yeah, Their she like being mare. Yeah, ever since they invented scissors, that's all Leonard wants to do. Horses really shouldn't be playing with scissors. I don't know why you let her have them. Well, we gotta gotta cut her pretty hair. Oh, all right. Smart, I guess. No, what was your name there, Miss? Millie. Oh, that's Millie a pretty. Hawkins. That's What's a pretty your name. name. Sir? My name is. Oh my goodness, my horse be shitting all over the ground. But my name is Marcel Marceau. Marcel Marceau. Yeah, it is the name. It's lovely to meet you, Marcel. As is you, Miss. What are you up to? I saw you're over at the coffee shop. Well, I'm selling tobacco and. uh... There's been a multiple complications I've had in my day of selling tobacco. I got kicked in the face by a horse a couple times, and yeah. that, that was about my last hour and a half was spending at the doctor's office talking about Nippleheim. Oh, no. I'm mm. sorry you got kicked. Praise Nippleheim. Who's that? Oh, Nippleheim? Yeah, and why are you praising him? Oh, Nibble Nippleheim seems to be a place that uh, all the big titty ladies go to when they die. Oh, all right. Oh, praise Nippleheim. So like them, like Viking stuff, but for nipples and big breasted yeah, women. Yeah, if you got big old titties, you're probably going to end up in Nippleheim. Well, well, hopefully I'm good, I guess. No, you look pretty nice on your little blue female horse there, Miss. So, Thank uh, you. If not Nippleheim, you're going to, going to be going to behind. Yeah, I got I her. So. <laughs> Either one's fine with me. <laughs> Trying to be with the other women with big breasts and butt and whatever. Mm -hmm. Big old nips and big old butts. Oh my. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. <laughs> you guys say little old ladies? Mm, define little old ladies. <laughs> Two drunk little old birds and nope. like. <laughs> if you say high. drunk and being crazy, hell no, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, I matched the description okay, quite well, if you ask me. Yeah, that's why I said the drunk old ladies. I've seen women, but ain't nobody drunk. Well, or being well, wild. They're, they're British little old ladies, and they both got fancy hats. Oi, gov. Oh, nope, ain't seen no fancy hats. Alright, just watch out. They intend to get on right. roads at night. I'll Bloody be minutes. here for a little bit, so. <laughs> Thank you. See you. Take care, ladies. Yeah, oh, aren't they strange? 
Yeah, I don't even say. I would have noticed the little old drunk ladies. Hey. Sir, are you fat or do you just have a large back? Are you making fun of me? No, let me see you, sir. No, no, are you making fun of me? You just, you just call me fat? Sir, there is something mighty wrong with you here. There is no, not there's anything not. mighty wrong with me here. You either have the shoulders of a fucking gargantuan uh, wench. Listen, the hat he's got on his shoulders is pretty stiff, so we got folded in to uh, be a little bit above him. How are your shoulders so big, sir? How are you so small? Oh, there we go. Mm. Oh, you want to fight or something? Oh, he wanted to be the biggest one in this town, I guess. Now, look here, sir. You want uh, fight or something? You want a fist fight? That's no, I'm, I'm a oh God, lover, really? not a fighter, sir. I love I love way too much. I love uh, nip, praise Nippleheim, praise the behind, and uh, and all the Come ladies on. in between. Fight. Let's, let's fight. I want to see y'all settle it. Who's the biggest Wait player? a second. What just happened? I, I'm pretty sure I said... Praise Nippleheim. <laughs> praise the behind. That's not an apology. And praise all the ladies in between. So you're scared to fight me? Is that what it is? Uh, I'm a pretty friendly man, but if you want to fight, I could... Uh... Oh, I want to fight. You called him fat. I don't... Call me fat, and I don't really appreciate that. Well, uh, I'm... You said, are you big boned or happy to see me or something? That's fair enough. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I have more uh, heft. To, to to myself than you, sir, but them shoulders are quite quite insane in my my personal opinion. My Trevor. opinion, I thank you. Trevor. Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. Come, on. come on. Trevor, don't We're watch this. Trevor, there. wherever you are, don't watch this. Out Look out, Trevor. You don't, you, don't see, you don't see Trevor? Trevor, praise Nibelheim. You don't see him? Praise Nibelheim. Oh, he does. I think he does see you. Here, come sit on the back. I gotta Am I going to have to do it first? Look, look, look. Hey Trevor, I'll trade you places. Let me we're let me just I'll sit away. on don't worry, Trevor, I'll sit on the back. No, 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 no. no You're gonna no. you gotta settle it. You gotta, Trevor you gotta and settle I are gonna this watch. <laughs> you did call him fat right off the bat. Right, is I anyone placing any bets? I got five dollars on you. I got I got uh twenty dollars on this gentleman right here. On me? Yeah, I got yeah. twenty on this guy. Okay. Twenty you're gonna get beat. Trevor, up. what you got? Trevor, what do you have? Mm, bet high, Trevor. Bet high on me. What are, what are we doing? We're, I'm, about we're to about find to it out because Marcel called him fat when he first introduced himself. Bet, Trevor, bet a hundred on me. Because no, I got twenty on this man. We see who's more fat. Yeah, Trevor. No, you, Trevor. Gonna, Trevor. You, you, who knows what we're betting on? You just bet on me, and I'll uh, I'll pay it off, and then uh, I'm gonna bet on this gentleman right over here. Right over here. Twenty bucks. No, no, Trevor, I'm betting 20 bucks. You bet 100. No, no, oh, oh. <laughs> I might have to move us You can't do, you gotta count me down, sir. <laughs> you gotta count down. Okay, at least give him, like, no sneak attack. 30 bucks. 30 bucks on who? Yeah, who are you, who are you betting on? Who are you hey, uh, betting on Trevor's real betting real on one? me. <laughs> Okay, oh, <laughs> he just bet on me. Yeah, he bet on you. We all bet on oh. you. Even. Oh, what the hell? Don't be doing that. Are we betting now? I didn't say nothing. All right, I put it down. I didn't say nothing either, my friend. I right, put the gun down. Put it down. All right. Fist only, love. Fist only, and take your gloves off. All right, check this out. He's not gonna. <laughs> We're out of here. We're fucking out of here. We do not have the money to fucking fight anybody. We're fucking dipping. <laughs> Where are we out? Is he following us? Oh shit! Oh, they're all following us. Run! Run! Yeah, this open? Back here. I need to go to my warrior house anyway. There we go. I'm gonna get you. Get you back to your. Brazen the blind. <laughs> Never be a good low man. <laughs> I got him. Yoink. Like you could escape me. I'm the fastest cat in the West. Alright, check this move. Oh shit, he's seen. <laughs> oh no. Oh my goodness. Are you okay? 
Yeah, I think I done broke my my balls, sir. You can't fight each other without the audience. We all bet money. Well, miss, I, I fell and my, my nuts landed right on this wagon wheel here, and <laughs> I don't think I'll ever have children again. Uh, well, we have to say the lid. We have to, we have to say the lid. Well, know, sir, go ahead and go ahead and strike here. me in my mouth. I'm quite a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lover, well, like I said, I'm a lover and not a fighter. Why well, don't you want to fight me? At least somebody wants to fight me. Yeah, I'm a lover, not a fighter. It's like. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, you! Oh, my! He's running around, circles! He's on top of the hay bale thingy. Cotton packs. Fight on top of it. Oh shit, I'm getting fucked up. I have no idea how to fight. <laughs> Tell him you're giving him hot advantage. Oh, there I go. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way you flop down. Boy, the, doc the doctor's not going to be proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen him about five minutes ago. All right, where's my money? Yeah, you got to pay. Oh, well, I only bet five. You want five? Uh... Here, we'll do it yeah. at the doctor's win. What was the other guy's name? Timothy? Yeah, uh, uh, Timothy, Timothy bet, bet $30. I remember that. Trevor. Oh, yeah, it was Trevor. Tre <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, not Timothy. It was old Trevor. It's a similar name. Timothy. I ain't made a Timothy yet. <laughs> oh, no. At least they're taking me to the doctor. That's kind of nice. <laughs> They're not, they're not even robbing me. Hey, there's my horse. He hey, there goes my horse right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leonard, don't don't go having sex with the blue horse over here. You're not, yeah. I know you're a lesbian. Let her live her life. Oh, oh, she don't want you. Yeah, she doesn't like men. You want to try her? I don't know whose horse this is, but it's mine now. Hey, as long as I can feel the bones, that's what I like. Yeah, I don't know. I'll bring it back, probably. Hey, is it you, bro? Oh. <laughs> a random <laughs> guy. <laughs> Who is that? Hello? Hey, how you doing, bro? Are you fine? Hey, what the fuck happened last night? I don't remember fucking anything. <gasps> Lucky, is that you? Yeah, that's right. Hey, just do just don't it. offer me up for the fucking. I'm not into that. Lucky. Oh, I have so much for to tell you. Not right. You don't Please remember anything? You. No, I need to. Go, oh, horse. Just run oh, with. Please. Just run with me on your yeah, back. On. <laughs> I'll take you up to the hospital. That's where we're heading. There's that big fella. Probably, probably be that son of a gun. Oh, I'm the hero, hey, Saint Denis. Denis. <laughs> Are you running for mayor? Uh, uh, uh actually, uh, about like 15 people ran up on me with no shirts on, saying that I should be their mayor candidate. Really. Yeah, they said you you would make a fine mayor, sir, and I said I have no idea how you've come to that conclusion. You would make a fine mayor, sir. Yeah, I agreed with him. I said I'm a low down, dirty tobacco farmer, and that's probably the best mayor you'll ever get in this town. Or right, can can you hand me that five? Or uh, actually, hand me can you hand me like sixteen? I have sixty four on me. Yeah. Actually, that's, I don't know how to do that. Can you put him down? Oh, I'd hand him sixty dollars. Yeah. How much do you have in your pocket? Please don't let me fucking be dead. <laughs> Sorry. I don't have much in mine. That's why. I'm poor as shit. Don't even. Don't even think about no. looking at me. No. How much? How much? <laughs> how much? How much money do you have? <laughs> Your pocket, so I can give you the right amount to get up. <laughs> you need forty bucks. How much you got in them pocket? Nah, I got sixty five dollars. No, you need oh, seventy five now. What? Are you being serious? <laughs> no, no, I've got, I've got point four cents. Oh. Oh, he's got forty cents. Oh shit! I think give me, you just want me to give you money. Yeah, I love money. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, hey, what's your fancy trash right now? They gave, they gave me twenty he, bucks. He has sixty something on him. He doesn't know. Yeah, but you needed <clears throat> 16, right? I'll give you free money anyway. I really don't care. I love money. Right, there's another 30. Do you actually have enough on you? Yeah, should I alert the doctors? No. <laughs> See, Flexa, we could have seen where they were of, instead of paying. Of, uh, 
what I forget what it was. So think of uh, whatever Nancy tells you to think of. Oh, I see. I see Nancy. Is I see Nancy now? Yeah. Yeah. Lick her feet <laughs> and she'll treat you. There you go. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Hello. Why am I so small now? Uh, you're gonna be like that till you take a nap. I shrunk. I, I literally, my penis is small. Yeah. My my hairline is small. This, yeah. this is the worst day of my life. I mean, your hairline was already a little. You know. uh, excuse me, miss. You watch oh, your tongue. Okay, you called him fat right off the bat. Yeah, if you did call me fat. You know what you get for that as well? That's what you get. You get a slap. Well, I guess I deserve that. I did give you free money though, so. Well, I did. I did lose an overall thirty dollars off this whole. Uh, well, like Fighting a man dollars. larger than me transaction, so I guess I deserve it. Someday I'm gonna be bigger than you, sir. <laughs> Someday I'm gonna buy shoulders that that sit on my shoulders that are shoulder height. You hear? Uh, so cool yeah. that you beat this guy up, bro. Hey, I oh, could I, I could fight this little boy. I could fight him. Who the hey, fuck are you calling call little boy, huh? He's, he's like he's like boy. five five ten years old. I fucking give you. Five I, I do want to adopt him. I'm not gonna. I'm yeah. Gonna. So teen teen equals like three, I think, and then you uh you like math math multiply the five, and then it's like he's like fifteen, I think. Who the fuck are you talking to? Oh, the little five times three right here. Yeah, back up a little bit. Okay, I'll go. I'll go over here and point. You know what's funny? Right over there. Some old ladies. Like five times three. For five dollars. Are they the drunk little old ladies? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I said right. it was people gold. Before you came up, there were people asking for them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the, pic the the pickled princesses. Oh. Ooh, pickles. That's what they're called. Yeah, they're pickled. They are all wrinkly and sour. And then uh, they're also royalty. I gave them, uh, I said the pen was gold plated and it lasted you a decade when it was really just a generic pen. <laughs> just a generic pen from the yeah. post office. Mm -hmm. A goddamn so, bick. $5, Five dollars for Watch the this. pen. Oh. Uh. Hey. Oh my god, how cool is that, guys? Now you're covered in blood. I like this hey, sir, you alright? Like the sound of it. Oh, the scent. Kind of cough. Hey, sir, are you doing all right? All right, this is mine now. That's all I do. He just robbed his pocket. I think he just took. Oh, he took his hat. Oh, I oh. like that hat. I like that hat as well. Man, people, people, people hair, leaving like their hats around town. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna carry him to a safer place. I'm right here. It's right, no, not you. I mean, I'm the only one in a stylish hat, so I don't know who else he's talking to. That he stabbed to death. Oh, where'd that guy come from? Who? Stab who? Who'd I stab? Never mind. That's what I thought. Where's my horse? But he, All right, well, if you'd excuse he, me, I have yeah. to talk to Lucky. Yeah, enjoy. You want to live back to your horse, crazy? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Am I, right, is she talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Uh, to talk. All right, I guess I'm crazy. Oh, um, I was friendly. I was friendly just a second ago. I swear, <laughs> one one second. All right, there we go. Yep. You ready? Yeah, it seems like every time someone chokes me out, I I just don't become friendly no more. Oh yeah. I mean, how can you be friendly? You gotta get aggressive. Now, I'm generally not aggressive. The hardest thing I've been choking is your hips, miss. Oh, Jesus. All right, all right. <laughs> and I've been, uh, I've been holding them pretty lightly. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my pardons for the aggressive tone there, miss. You're fine. You can talk about my horse, whatever you want, but me. I, I generally don't ride horses this way. I usually uh, lean up on them sideways and lay across them. With my belly on their butt, and uh, that's how I ride. You lay down on them. At least you don't do that acrobatic like the people in front of us. You see them? Yeah, they're da they're jumping up and down off the horse every couple seconds. Yep, your horse was somewhere around here. Yeah, you're. I think it? I think you're the first lady I've ever actually held the 
held the hips of on horse, so. Well, you're welcome, giving you your first and everything. Hey, this actually is my horse. I appreciate that a lot. You're welcome. Thank you so much, miss. Just because I watched you get your ass beat don't mean, you know. Whoa, I'm not whoa, whoa, nice whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second here. I'm a hero. What? I'm a hero. Okay, you are a hero, Marcel. From 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 what I remember, I saved a bunch of children from uh from the, the alligators in the pond. Well, listen, if you ever want to impress somebody and say that, I'll back you up. Yeah, you just go remember every internet ask you about Marcel Marceau. You say that man be a hero. That man saved a bunch of orphans from a burning house. He saved all them burning orphans from the alligator house, yep. <laughs> it's making it's an alligator house. Yeah, there's a house that uh, is run by a bunch of alligators, and they live in the swamp there, and they own uh, one of these buildings. Interesting. I'll have to check that out. I guess. Yeah, I got a little bit of alligator uh, DNA, so I uh, I don't know. You got an alligator in your DNA, so one of your family members fucked an alligator to give you that DNA. Yeah, my mama is an alligator. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I best be off then. All righty, miss. Uh, hey, you're very nice. Time. I appreciate your time and help it me out. It was lovely meeting you, seeing you, everything. All right, just make sure you're not too mean to the alligator people out there. Oh, I'm never mean to gators. I don't even know what you're talking about. I only show the scales on the inside. What does that mean? Yep. All right, we gotta get yeah. the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what the fuck were we doing before we fucking got murdered by a horse? All right, what what the hell is going on here? <laughs> can't can't get to our saddlebags. Do not knock me out again, horse. Oh, I don't oh sorry, nothing. miss. I was just trying to play with my horse. Not the right thing to say. No good golly. There's so many people now. This is great. Like, girl, are you okay? And the next thing I knew, uh, she ended up in the water. Hey, sir. How are you doing there, ladies? I'm good, thank you. You? Uh, I'm pretty fantastic. I just got uh, kidnapped and tied up and uh, shot at, you know. Oh, there good. goes the poop. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, you know. Uh, the, this time the uh, the ropes were a little tight on my wrist, but the ones on my ankles were perfect. <laughs> Sounds like you've had a rough day. Oh no, I got this nice hat off old uh, some guy left it on the the ground over there while he was sleeping, so I took his hat. Oh, that is a fancy charming hat, bolter. It suits you. Yeah, it makes me look like a, a poker player or something like that. Well, uh, may the hat bring you riches. Indeed. I'm some kind of millionaire. You look good. Oh, thank you, ladies. You up to much? Well, I was, I was trying to grow some tobacco and uh, ship that off to the, uh, ship that off to the old uh, cigar store over there. Then I got caught up in getting kicked in the face by a horse and uh, kidnapped and everything else in between. So my day's kind of been shot. Sounds like a typical day. I was just telling our friend here, Ider, about the fact that we got attacked by cougars the other day. Not real cougars. Not the ones from Nippelheim. <laughs> no, they, they, the ones just outside of town, and they gone put a big bite right in the top of my thigh. Oh, yeah, from behind. Yeah, it's, it's stung like a bitch. And there's only cougars from behind and only cougars from Nippelheim, so it's one or the other. <laughs> Well, this this was this one was just outside. Right outside here in Saint Saint Denis. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm a I'm a natural alligator wrestler. I could try my hand at some cougars. Sounds good. We need someone to be wrestling them. Well, ma'am, it seems like you met the right man for the job. My name is Marcel Marceau the Fabulous. Nice to meet you, Mr. Fabulous. Uh, oh, wait. Hey, holy. Oh, my goodness. Hold on one second here. Whoa. She called me Mr. Fabulous. 
not even not even recognizing the Marcel Marceau. I could just be Mr. Fabulous. Okay, hold on now, ma'am. Did you did you just happen to call me Mr. Fabulous? Uh yeah. You have I think you have just set a course that cannot be redirected. You have changed my life, miss. Oh, well, you're very welcome. I hope it's changed for the uh, absolute best. Yes, I used to be Mr. Marcel Marceau, but now I am Mr. Fabulous. And you I wrestle cougars. Everyone you run into that you are Mr. Fabulous, and you will wrestle them damn cougars, and you are going to sort this damn problem out for us. Yeah, Mr. Fabulous, here we go. All right, we're Mr. We're, we are now Mr. Fabulous, the cougar wrestler. What do we need? <laughs> what are we? Okay, let's. I okay. What was I doing? We were we we're gonna put the, we we're gonna put the horse back and then pull it back out. <laughs> we're now Mr. Fabulous. The co The hell did this thing come from? Oh, here's the owner. I was about. I was legit about to soup this thing. <laughs> no, please, please, please don't do this to me again. Please let me put the horse away. Oh, my horse is bugged. We have to go to Rhodes. That sucks. That sucks so bad. So we have to go there. So we have... Okay, let's make sure we have anything that we're going to need. If we have to go to Rhodes anyway. We have processed cotton. We have the the tobacco. We just have to put... Oh, we need uh, rolling paper. We can get rolling papers there. We can get rolling papers there. Yeah, un unfortunately, I keep running into the same um, RP server issues. No, please, stay on the road, horse. I'm trying to autopilot you. There you go. There we go. I think I think by tomorrow, all, all those problems should probably be gone. I think it's because of the time that I saved my horse at the stable yesterday. Kind of screwed it up. Uh, I saved it like at the last millisecond of a server restart yesterday, so. And I and I've even moved it. I've moved it to the Saint Denis stable. I've moved it to uh, the Valentine stable. I've moved it all over the place, and it just is bugged everywhere. So it only wants to come out of the road stable. But I think after this restart, yeah, I think after this uh, server reset day. Uh, it, it should be okay. As long as I don't save my horse, like, in the last two seconds. But I was very lucky that I even had got a horse at that time. Like, I got a horse at the last second of a, of the server being, uh, reset. And only because, like, I ran on foot across the whole map <laughs> to meet up with a lady who was gonna do the three-for-one transaction. But I could have made like 600 bucks. I honestly could have made like 600 bucks if we didn't get kicked in the head by a horse and uh, our horse's bags keep resetting. Because I would have been able to move product back and forth uh, faster. We kind of got screwed over there. So we need to remember to buy rolling papers we have so much of this we need like th at least 30 rolling papers yeah it happens series of unfortunate unfortunate events it happens is my horse dying we have carrots okay we still have carrots and i'm fin i'm so good at swindling people at in this. I'm great at, at telling people to give me things that I'm going to get back to them that I will never do. I've gotten so many free carrots. Oh my god, my horse is out of control. He does not want to even listen to me. Maybe we'll stop... Eh, yeah, maybe we'll stop in the saloon while we're in town. This saloon kind of sucks. There's there's generally never anybody there, but there's a bunch of horses outside of it, so maybe maybe we'll be able to stop there. Oh, I know those guys. Uh, somebody need a second gun, oh, no, guys. Like one one. Kind of thing. It's just nice to have a bit more camouflage, especially at night. 
Oh, I don't have anything here. Uh, uh, we have 32 raw like cotton? What am, I don't even need to be here, do I? Yeah, I don't think we need know. to be here. <laughs> I'm just wasting my time. Yep, don't, we don't need to be here. We're being stupid. We need to go to the general st No, we crashed. Guys, I have uh, one... Uh, um Crashing has been really bad today. I'm not sure why. I think it, it, it I know for a fact it's uh one one player is giving me crashes. The doc the doctor in uh, the town that was in Rhodes that was crashing me. He he was specifically crashing me. Cuz anytime I went into his presence or left his presence I crashed. At least it's quick. Yeah, it's a, it's a little different from normal Red Dead online. Like, these are like whitelist servers. So I had to go on to like, I had to go through a Discord server and a website and all these other things. And there's a big queue that's behind it to, to actively get into it. Like during the day I was trying to log on, impossible. I need to get a higher, uh, I have to pay for a uh, higher login queue, essentially. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to be really upset if we crash and my horse is in St. Denis. Please tell me my horse is in the stable. If I have to run all the way back there after getting here and then crashing that sucks i i know we're gonna have to run back we can we can at least check no saint denise staples fuck off all right let's think of what we can do instead so we only need we only need rolling papers so we can get rolling papers here maybe we'll maybe we'll just do it on foot and then we'll bring everything to St. Denis on foot, unless I can steal a horse. Yeah, I think a bunch of people crashed because there's like no horses stabled up or anything. And all those people are, that were there are gone and none of the sheriffs are here. So I think, I think a bunch of people crashed. So it probably wasn't just me. Yeah, I, I, I've done pretty good hitchhiking. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, this is not the right shop. This is the gun shop. I've done pretty good hitchhiking. And uh, I, I generally keep getting rides from the the sheriffs and the lawmen. <laughs> and they get the conversations I have with them always get very awkward. But they've always been very nice. So I need at least 32, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Somehow I ended up with thirty-three. Fair enough. <laughs> Whatever. Unlucky. I, I wish I didn't crash right there. That would have made, made it so much easier. Okay, we need to go back here, right? Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's, it's, it is honestly so hard getting used to the key bindings. I played all of Red Dead Redemption uh, 2 on uh, controller. So, and this doesn't support the controller at all. So playing keyboard mouse, it's like I have to learn all of Red Dead, but then I also have to learn all of the role play commands which which is like 10 times what r all the red <laughs> commands are it is actually is actually hard but what's it, it is cool that there's a i think there's about 200 to 250 people on this server at a time so you do run into a bunch of people especially in towns in towns you run into a bunch of good people uh quite often my first day was awesome, and I ran into a guy who became my nephew and a guy who became my cousin. 
and and they were hilarious and that that's how i ended up with my horse is uh they they purchased a horse for me because i i made a deal with a lady uh, and she was willing to sell three horses for 300 and they're like well we there's only two of us and i'm like well i orchestrated the trade so i probably should get that third horse and it worked out quite well I also I got the youngest horse and the best in shape horse uh, from what I could tell it's definitely the youngest one out of all of them because I think horses only live to 30 years old on this server and my horse is 14 uh, from the time I got it and someone told me 14 is pretty much the lowest age that you're gonna be able to get a horse where are we going I feel like we missed the uh, straight south gotta cross the river all right let's hope we don't get eaten by a gator tia i tia mod i did not even i didn't finish red dead story mode either i got to saint denis and it got like the the tech aspect of the game kind of got too much for me and i didn't like it i said i'm like i like the old west I really, I really like the old Western style of things that was going on in the story. Like, oh, we're building up, we got a campsite, and then they move into a big house, and then they, they're like, oh, and here's this industrial revolution place, and it's like, I'm not into it. Yeah, you stopped exactly where I stopped. I stopped exactly at Saint Denis. I, I just didn't like the industrial revolution like because everywhere else isn't isn't industrial revolution so i was very much not expecting it so yeah i've yet to uh, actually beat red dead redemption But I also don't think it's a game that you necessarily need to beat to get the uh, to get the overall feel for, because you kind of get know where it's going. Like, like I'm a dude helping along another kind of dude who kind of he he doesn't need me, but I'm his guy. Oh, I didn't. Oh, we did sell it. Oh, thank goodness. I, I thought I was going crazy. Okay, we got 11 more cigarettes uh, that we can sell. If only we had our damn horse. <laughs> I could process a little more tobacco, I think. Okay, we can go sell these. And we need 32 for those and we can go get our horse from St. Denis. Yeah, I, I think that too, yes. Uh I think the craziest thing to think about is Grand Theft Auto Five. I think I think Grand Theft Auto, Theft Auto Five and Grand Theft Auto Online is one of the most insane things to think about. It's long it's like along the line with World of Warcraft. It's like and in World World of Warcraft you can kind of justify it being out that long. You go, oh, it's been out that long, and everyone's playing, and they're giving you $15 a month. And you go, GTA Online? How is this game still out? <laughs> like, how are people... How is there no GTA 6 yet? Oh, they're still updating GTA Online, giving people rocket launcher, missile, fucking, you know, uh, motorcycles. It's like, yeah, that's, that's why people play it, and that's why people don't play it at the same time. I love, by the way, I, I would love to be on a big GTA RP server, but, uh, I, I was almost on no pixel, which I think would have been a huge, um, but no pixel hit a period of like where they're not growing. They're kind of sustaining and I didn't want to be a part of it. So I, I do think that uh, NoPixel is doing awesome things for Twitch and the gaming community as a whole, though. 
I, I and and eventually I'd love to be a part, but I I would like to be a part at a, the start of a server change. I like a 3.0 or a 4.0 or 5.0. I'd love to be a part of that. Where uh, no pixels at right now? I have no interest. <laughs> I have no interest. Oh, you've never watched no uh, GTA RP or anything? No way. Yeah, there are people that uh, Los Santos is basically an RP world, and uh, people run businesses and do basically Amazon delivery or cocaine smuggling and things along those lines. But in in the GTA world, there and there is a lot. Of, there are so many good creators that do it too. Like. I think uh, XQC bl kind of blew it up. He made it really big for everybody. Uh, when he hopped on uh, No Pixel, everybody hopped on No Pixel. But then it became a, it just became huge and fun. It was it's just so fun, and it's so fun to watch. Like there's a street racing like Summit 1G and, and his whole side of the group. There's like a 40 man street racing scene. I think they have a, it's like a 250 person server, pretty similar to the uh, Red Dead servers. Alright, what do, okay, hold on. Oh, oh, I pushed the wrong button, okay. Yeah, I, I played Conan, Conan uh, Exiles or whatever it was called. But yeah, this is like for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, the, he he may be drunk. If if you hit Z, which is really close to some of the other like point your like I think what's this button? That's L and then X X is put your hands up. So Z just drops you to the ground. Z just just collapses your your guy. So if I'm ever trying to like put my hand, yeah, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm trying to put my hands up, I kind of sometimes drop to the ground instead. But let's uh, sell these last cigarettes that we got on ourselves. Yeah, I would definitely say it's hard, like, especially for the these RP servers, it's definitely hard to get, like, into uh, the actual RP aspect. Like, this, I, my character was going to die. When I, when I logged on today, my character was going to die. <laughs> I spent all my money on, uh, on getting dressed, buying clothes, and taking a bath. And I woke up uh, at the start of the day with negative $9, and I was like, I need to figure out how to make money. Uh, and the game get, I guess they give you like, they give you carrot seeds, cotton seeds, and tobacco seeds to start. So I just went, I'm going to go find where you plant tobacco seeds. And I planted them and it said, oh, you got to process these. So I went and found where I processed them and asked some people around, uh, how, what do I got to do next? And then they told me, oh, you got to package them this way. And then now I package them a certain way into cigarettes, sold them for $59. And we're looking good. Hopefully, I'm I'm just hoping we can meet some cool people. General, generally, where I grow my crops, there's some pretty cool people. Also, I have to figure out how to get my own stamina. I know how to get my my horse's health and stamina up. I have no idea how to get my own stamina up. I know how to eat food and drink water, but my little lightning bolt symbol is. Uh, red right now and that's that means my guy is like tired or not feeling right some something along the i'll have to i'll have to ask somebody but i have to do it in rp i have to ask him i have to ask him like oh my, i'm not feeling as uh shocking as normal or something <laughs> then again this server has been pretty fair about uh how you actually have to assess the rping i could probably say my lightning bolt is low <laughs> Yeah, the, actually, you know what? The concussion probably did a did a fair fair amount to how how mentally damaged my guy is. I I will not uh, put that against it. There is no one in the field. Holy crap! Oh, never mind. 
that that was too good to be true. Are these mine? No. Yeah, we'll we'll grow over here. We'll grow over here this time. I that's like normally exactly where I grow. Where are our seeds? This one. I don't see anybody else around here, so I might be able to swoop all that. Uh, I think that's sugar cane. Yeah, if no one if no one comes back, I'm swooping those tobacco plants over there and all the sugar cane, like. And there's carrots back there too. There's, there, dude, there's all sorts, but there's no one here. But usually I like to get like about eight down. So I think these produce eight or nine a piece and you can only carry about 64. You can, like, is a stack. Yeah, no one's gonna know. <laughs> Earlier. <laughs> Earlier, the first time I ever was farming, there was a lady that was farming over in that corner, and uh, I was farming right, like pretty much right here. And some a group came up and said, "Hey, whose stuff is that?" And, oh, some lady, but she hasn't been here in a while. She's been gone for a quite quite a bit. And they're like, "Well, I think I'm gonna go steal some of that corn." And I said, "Hey, man, if you get some corn, let me let me get a piece of that corn." So he went and go snatch some corn and then told me, hey, you, it's all the rest is all yours. So I went up to it and started stealing the rest of her crops. And uh, she ran up on me with a bow. <laughs> and uh, I was like, excuse me, sir, that is mine. And I was like, oops, uh, yep, uh, here you go. So I gave her her stuff back. And she's like, wait, some of my tobacco is missing. I said, uh, I don't know nothing about that. So I didn't snitch on the other guy. So that guy ended up paying me, which was cool. But uh, and I tried to I tried to give her some tobacco back because I I was growing a bunch of tobacco myself, but uh, she didn't want any. So I ended up I ended up come up on uh her crops and this guy who paid me off for not telling him, telling the lady that I snitched on him. Like I said, I'm a I'm a quality swindler. Son of a bitch. So there there can only be 30 total crops in a field at a time. And there, that limit has been reached. But I don't see anybody here. So if any, if any of this is ready to go, I'm just picking it. It's all this lettuce this person's got. I don't see nobody. I don't see anybody, so this is mine. What happened? Where did all those tall plants go? What hap Something went wrong. It was like a visual bug or something going on. Well, I got whatever the visual bug was. Oh, I got a bunch of carrots. That's nice. I thought I'd pick cabbage. Maybe not. Maybe I'd pick carrots. Make sure no one... Yeah, I don't, I don't see anybody. And he's curious about two minutes away from being done. Check on these carrots. These, these are probably done, right? Oh yeah, these are mine. <laughs> All right, that's free. That's free horse food right there. So now that we pick those, we can plant some more. As long as someone with like a a gun bigger than mine doesn't roll up, we're all right. 
I have I have the worst gun possible though, so <laughs> so it's probably not the best. Come on, Marcel, why do you take so damn long to plant cotton or plant tobacco? Now, whatever I picked was that tall crop, but I don't see anything that... I guess it was just carrots. Yeah, my, my day... my Today hasn't been that bad. Yesterday was unbelievably bad. The, my first day on the server was so bad. <laughs> Like I, I was naked. I, I, uh, I couldn't talk to anybody because I, my, my voice uh, channel was bugged, so I couldn't talk to anybody. I stole a lady's horse in the first like two minutes, but I, I, def I inferred that I had stolen her horse, even though I couldn't hear her. So I got off, gave her horse back. Then I spent like like ten, twenty minutes figuring out my sound settings. Fig figured that out. And then I immediately got kidnapped. <laughs> and then all my money got taken. And uh, the guy that kidnapped me got shot in the head and uh, sent to prison. It was, it was a hell of a day. Well, I don't know what the hell just happened. Two of my plants did not get planted. But we'll just steal this shit instead, right? What is this? Yeah, I am just waiting for the person that planted all this to see him rolling up on me. I mean, my, my horse is in a pretty good spot to get away. 14 minutes. Who the hell just planted that? I saw no one. There's no way those are 14 minutes. What are these at? Eight. Someone ran up and planted that cotton <laughs> out of nowhere? What? Oh, and then my other plants just popped up. Okay. But who, plan who planted that cotton? <laughs> that, that is very weird. Mainly because I've been snatching all the other crops. But where did that cotton come from? Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's ready to be picked, too. I just have to, like, sneak in to get it. Where is it? I know there's one. There's at least one. All these are ready to pop. Oh, there was. Freebie. Yeah, I feel, <laughs> I feel like a whole gang's... Oh, what the hell? It's just like a bugged... What the fuck is going on? More cotton just got planted. 14 minutes. 14 minutes. 11 minutes. What the fuck? There's like someone here I can't see. Which is not good. I do I need more cotton? No, I have, I have so much cotton. Uh, maybe I'll plant one. Eight, eight tobacco is pretty good. Eight tobacco is like a full stack. Which is like a 
just about like un just under a hundred bucks. I wish you got more carrots though. Actually, we got we have plenty of carrots. Our horse our horse will be good with twenty one carrots. Alright, one pile of evidence is gone. Now if anyone asks, I say, nope, there was never anything over there. Eleven. Eight minutes. There's no way. Someone had to have come and planted those. I just... Where, when? <laughs> when did that happen? Where did you get a red squirrel? What the fuck? Where did I get green beans? Oh, are those those? I wonder if the, those must be those tall plants. The raw cotton. We'll keep the squirrel there. Five minutes. Come on. Man, these are taking forever. <clears throat> this is re this is actually really weird, though. Like that, these three popped up without anybody like showing up. I have no idea. Like there, there should at least be somebody here, or somebody should have run through. It is weird that there's just three random crops growing by themselves. At least there's no no horses to kick me in the head. Like that, <laughs> I literally just lost like a straight hour of production for like RP for doctors. It could be, uh, so a lot, sometimes what happens, sometimes when people are riding horses, they become invisible. I had that bug earlier, but I've never seen anything where someone's invisible while, or while planting crops or like, I, I should have at least noticed it going down. Like I should have noticed one of these, like just appearing out of nowhere. So like, sometimes if I like jump on my horse. If I'm like, if I sprint over and I jump my horse in a certain way, it'll like, be like, oh, the guy way over there can't see you. You're like bugged out. So you have to like hop off and then re really like hop on, right? But there's no one here. There's no one at all. Wait, what the fuck? Where did this come from? Hello. Hello. Is anyone here? There's a cotton ghost out here. No, this just, this like just went down. What the fuck going on here? I mean, they're, they're too long for me to wait for anyway. Like I could just like, if there is someone here who's like kind of ghosted, I could just swoop, swoop their plants and they would never even know, right? Because we're both ghosted. <laughs> but those are eight minutes. I'm not waiting eight minutes. My shit's uh, like five. No, that's not right. Five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes. Yeah. But normally, <laughs> normally I'd see some other person here. Oh 
Oh shit. That's a good point. I should probably do this. Fill the flask up and then we can uh, heat our flask over the fire there. And it should uh, distill it. Like, how are you supposed to know that? As, like, a new player. Like, it that took me forever. Like, the, just to get a flask took me forever. To learn to distill it and fill it up and do all, all the other jazz with it. It's like, dude. It's like a whole different game. Man, how did I fill my Thunderbolt? <laughs> I don't know how to fill that up. My stamina is like tanks. Two more minutes. Where are these at? 11. Eight. Yeah, I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting eight minutes. Hey, anybody out here? Some kind of cotton grown ghost, anybody? Nobody. Why does my why does my vest break now? Man, my vest breaks. Oh, that's so unlucky. Used to just take it off. Yeah, we, we can look at the field guide. Like I've I've looked at it a few times. But it doesn't, it doesn't give you, it, like, too many tips. It doesn't give you enough. <laughs> if I look at, like, uh... That's, like, a thing I want to look at. Jobs economy. It just tells you the jobs. It doesn't tell you how to do any of the jobs. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. I was like, man, how do I do, uh, this thing? And it's like, oh, I'll look in the guide. Nope, it doesn't tell you in the guide. I looked at a good deal of the guide. It hasn't, hasn't told me enough. Something, something's going on where people are... Wait, those are... Oh, wait, yeah, that's mine. I'm, gonna, I'm being crazy. I'm being crazy. Yeah, I think there's a lot of that, like where uh, a we're we're a new expanding RP group, and like yeah, we need we need to figure out our certain mechanic more. There's there's a, definitely a lot of that out there. I just want I just want my little crop here to be done so we can go uh go process it and make some more money. We're almost there though. Like a minute or two. It should have everything ready to go. I don't I just I have no food. I, I need to get that figured out.
I just have like no food at all. And I've been asking people for food for the, for the most part. Other than going into the saloon and buying it. But it's like, man, is that the best way? To like procure food? It doesn't seem, doesn't seem very ideal. Come on, it's gotta be done. It's like 30 seconds. No sh shot there's crafting here. Hey, don't don't be stressed. Uh, think about job interviews. Like, I'll, as someone who's done a million job interviews, and like I've I've only failed one, and I knew the one that I was gonna fail that I was gonna fail. Just walk. Just go in confident. Be uh yourself and presentable. Just like pre and presentable is not just a a visual term. It is presentable as in like you just being a normal human being. And be able to talk to whoever the hell you're talking to because that's who's going to base your hiring off of and um just be decent yeah, just be decent just be a nice nice person be nice you, you you don't even have to be like acknowledging of like the what they want you to hear uh you don't have to tell them oh i want to be in this job because i see a future for me you don't don't do any of that be you uh, just say, hey, I need money, and I'm really fucking good. I'm, uh, I'm the best at what I do. I kick ass. Uh, money is also good. And then that's usually what works for me. I always walk in going, like, I'm the shit. Like, it's not that, it's not that, uh, I need to find a company. It's that your company needs to find someone like me, because I know a lot of me don't exist. So uh, if you'd like to 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 land somebody that you don't think exists, I'm right here. Yeah, yeah, you. I, 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 I literally have never. I've only not been hired one time in my entire life. Out of all the jobs they've ever gone for, I've only not been hired one time, and I've been I've been honest. And straightforward about it every time I've told them hey I I'm here to have a job I'm here to if there's opportunity I will take the opportunity if it's if it's warranted I won't take the opportunity if the opportunity sucks if you think your company's good I'm probably gonna think your company's good because you are here supporting it today uh, if I stick with you hey congrats to you if I don't that's kind of how life goes in modern times. Most most people don't stick with their companies uh, throughout throughout their lifetime. This is in the 1930s and 40s anymore. It's not in the 1980s. Uh, yeah, it's just like just be just be realistic because they're gonna run into a, a lot of realistic people like that that like that's their actuality. But if you're realistic is like, hey, I understand that work is part of reality and I have to do it. Uh, but I'm not willing to be a, uh, I'm not willing to be like sucker punched and uh, taken advantage of. I think they're more willing to give those people positions than people that are like, no, just fuck you. Or, or yeah, I will do anything you say. It's like, no, you want to have, be, you kind of want to be an in-betweener. At least from my experience. You want to go, hey, I'm here for myself. Uh, fuck yourself. I'm The only reason I'm applying for your company is because your company is there to provide me a job. I'd apply at another company if there was a better job that I could acquire available. <laughs> People like honesty. 
And also, also think of the person recruiting you is just a fucking idiot. Like, just go, th this is a dumb person. This is that guy that I didn't like in high school. He's one of those guys. And they might be smart, but they might, they're probably not smart at their job. Like, that, that, that's the, the worst part about America and capitalism is that you're not, the person trying really hard isn't going to be great at their job, but they're going to be willing to do anything that their job tells them to do. So, like, if you're a manager at TGIF Fridays or whatever the fuck, and your manager's yelling at you all day, but they're paying you well, then uh, it's kind of hard for you to, uh, you know, move in a different direction. But, but for, like, most people... In America, they go, hey, my manager sucks at TGI Fridays. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I'm going to do the bare minimum and just get paid. Which is what a lot of jobs are currently in Fortune. And, and which is extremely unfortunate in my personal opinion. I think people should be uh, proud of their jobs. But I also think people, I also think the jobs should be uh, paying people what they're worth. Which none of them are. So most, most employees have to be willing to accept the fact that they're going to be taking less than that than what they're worth that's just how american capitalism works you're, you're gonna be getting out of whatever you're doing less than what you're worth you kind of got to suck it up because that allows you to pay for things and allows you to be successful in other areas allows you to have your hobbies and you just got to go through with it and that's totally okay too Totally fine with that as well. Yeah, but there's no there's no room for anyone coming to your job and treating you treating you poorly and, or uh, anything anything similar to that. Like every job sucks. Like no you like no one likes the jobs. Like unless you're like an a prof even I, I honestly think even like actors and like high end actresses and such like they don't like their job at the end of the day they're getting yelled at by some director who's a douchebag. Ninety percent of jobs you're not you're not gonna like. Find something that you're gonna enjoy a little bit and then tell everybody else uh, to fuck off from the jobs that no one likes because uh, that's not helping anyone in humanity. Like you, the the jobs that suck, everyone needs to just accept those jobs suck and and say no one work for them. Something else has to be figured out. If people keep signing up, man, they're gonna keep fucking making people do the worst jobs in the fucking planet. But that is uh, unfortunately what America is built on. It's just, hey man, someone is willing to do the worst job that we have available and we'll pay them to do that. And I can't disagree that it, it gets it gets things going somewhere, but then it stops. Then it, then it, then it hard stops and uh, no one will ever want to do anything for you ever again because there's nothing to gain from it. And that is uh, unfortunately where America is at right now. Is everyone's realizing that? Oh wait, I can work my whole life and gain nothing. Why am I doing this? What? And like, oh, but America, you have to have American values and pride. And they go, why? And they go, well, because because uh, your mom and dad. And like, no, I'm not doing that for them. They're almost dead. Like, I'm not. No, that's not how it works. And then all the old folks go, wait, why aren't they buying into, uh, you know, dying, you know, forcing their lives away for the old folks? It's like, because we're not morons. <laughs> that is the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. Hey, do you want to slave your life away uh, while you're, while, while at using the internet, looking at the rest of the planet and going, hey, we're pretty much at the top. We're pretty much at the top. Uh... But your parents, who are doing nothing right now, they've all retired. They need you to work so they can live uh, lavish lives. Apps. Well, what do I get? Oh, oh, you don't get anything. You don't get anything. 
you get to watch your parents live lavish lives and you get to slave away and uh, maybe in the future it'll be okay. But we're $13 million in debt to China. So just rem remember that. Oh, so my parents' generation sold out the future. No, we're not going to we're not going to spin it like that. We're going to say that you need to work for for them. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I'm I'm tired of the boomers. I'm just too tired. They can all die. They can all die and we can all fix what what they messed up. That, that's totally fine by me. And they can they can they can all die believing that they their generation did something, but their parents' generation did something. They did nothing. They ruined the earth for most the they're the most the boomers are the most ridiculous generation on the face of the earth. Uh, my parents are in it, and they're some of the stupidest human beings I've ever met. And they're and, and unfortunately, they're in in an echelon of where they're they're like not necessarily powerful people, but they're people that have money, don't know what to do with the money, but think the money's for them, but know they're going to die. And it's like, well, if you know you're going to die think the money's for you and you're not willing to help they're not even willing to help me or my sister my my their family they're they're very much like we're gonna hold it to ourselves like well then you're gonna die and then the money's going to go to me and my sister anyways unless you write it in the world for it to go to who the government like are you insane and it's like and they hate the government they're they're like trumpists it's, it's just for it's very weird I, I i have no idea where they when they came to this ideal it's just awkward because uh i grew up in california i grew up in california in the bay area like my parents should be the most leftist human beings you you'd ever find on the planet, and my mother's a and let's just even throw this out there. My mother's a teacher. She was a teacher for forty years. <laughs> so yeah, my teacher, who was a mother, uh, my mother who's a teacher for forty years, somehow became a Trumpist, and uh, my dad, who owned a corporation, or who who fell into the luck of having a uh, the ownership partial ownership of a corporation, ended up in the same gateway, and they go, I go, but. The, I go, hey, you guys love Elon Musk and you love Donald Trump, but you're you're not willing to support me in any fashion. Is the, like, does that make sense? It's like, well, those two. It's like, no, those two were given money by their families. That's why they're where they're at. How about you guys give me money? Like, no, you you don't deserve it. It's like, oh, okay, okay, that's fine. You guys are gonna die. I'm gonna get it anyway. <laughs> unless you unless you literally go, hey, government, we're gonna give it to you. That's, that's how it works. That's how you, the the monetary system in the United States works. Is uh, your your children get your money when you die? And unfortunately, a lot of boomers have a lot of money like that, and it's it's weird. So I hope I hope all, when all the boomers die, I hope all their children that, that obtain this money don't go spending it just like willy nilly. I hope they go about spending it to actually change society. Because we really, we actually really need a big change uh, in everything. Because just like the fact that if you're a citizen, like think of, think of the bank closures that happened uh, today, and not even the last few days, like Silicon Valley Bank. Hey, Silicon Valley, even if they didn't get bailed out, right? Hey, we're not bailing you out, but everything's gonna be okay anyway it's like if you're a citizen you go to jail forever it's like that's it you're in jail forever you cheated the system it's like yeah but if you're a bank if you if you're a part of the government it's like oh well we might bail you out but we won't put you we won't even put the people who are the heads of the system in jail we'll just we'll just it'll just be okay it's like dude what the hell is that this is the most backwards way to look at anything I haven't seen a person. I wasn't able to grow crops. I have no idea if I'm bugged or something. Yeah, but still, it's it's just like it's hard for me being kind of in the in that middle group and I'm in the in the millennial group. I'm in I'm a 1987 baby. Seeing seeing the older generation going, "Oh, we need to hold on to all our wealth while we're 
like uh, in the midst of dying and then i see the younger generation going hey we we need the wealth to change things and it's like i go hey younger generation you got the right idea but you're going to end up getting the wrong vibe uh based on the people that are my my parents my my parents generation like don't don't view that in between a group as if they are the problem as well because we had no no choice no decision no idea of what was happening like i've gone th i think i've gone through three or four like economic collapses in my lifetime and then i go and my, my my parents are very well off and i go ask my parents like hey man can i you know borrow some money whatever you know it's been tight and they, and they go, and what what are you doing? What is your career? It's like, well, you guys kind of talked me out of the career field. <laughs> you know, you kind of told me to follow along with the trade that my dad was doing. And then I decided that was fucking retarded. And I decided that was not for me. And it's just, it's just a little crazy. Because I go, again, it's like, it honestly like i could ask i could ask for anything i, I could ask for hey you can give me a dollar give me twenty dollars give me a thousand dollars give me a million dollars it's going to be the same answer with my with my family which is fine i i get it it's like hey yeah it's whatever you don't want it but when you're dead i'm gonna get it anyway like that's just how it is they just don't want to see me doing things that with their money or quote unquote their money um that doesn't reflect reflect their values but i go yeah i'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> i'm gonna do, when you die i'm gonna do that anyway i'm going to help people that deserve it rather than holding it all for myself and uh i'm gonna be thankful that you two or excuse me i'm not thankful for that my mom my mom made the money because she didn't she's a teacher uh my dad made a ton of money I'm, i'll be thankful for that and my mom being a teacher not being thankful for that aspect is ridiculous to me <laughs> because she is, she is benefiting from a, you know, a group that she had nothing to do with. And it's, it's, it's almost infuriating to me. I, I don't generally talk to my family too much, uh, mainly because of this. But yeah, if you're, if you're like, if you came from nothing and then, you know, married into something and then you're trying to keep the money away from the people that are working hard for it you're an asshole and <laughs> that's who my mom is and she does, she has no idea that she is that person so yeah my parents they're they're sitting around doing absolutely nothing other than going they go on like trips to they travel around and unfortunately now I'll I'll ride them out. They're terrible people. Uh, they they're going around traveling like to South America and Spain and Europe and stuff, and they're not they're not even vaccinated. They're fucking assholes. I don't even know how uh, they're getting you know passport legitimacy uh, for being able to travel without vaccination, but they are. But they, they again they're in that kind of upper echelon of society, so. And it, it is it is what it is at the end of the day. And uh, again, it's like for anybody who's like, oh, all these all these fucking boomers, it's like they're gonna die. Don't worry. <laughs> like 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 these are my parents. And I go if at the end of the day, if I look twenty years from today, they're not gonna exist. They're just they're just gonna be you know more dirt to the soil. And and it is kind of a dark way to think of things, but that's how everybody is. We're we're all just pieces of earth, and eventually we're gonna disappear. So you can't look at your life as a as this like little quick obfuscation of uh oh here's what I'm gonna do and here's what I'm gonna get. It's like no, make it good, make it good for you. But but if if you're all if you're making it good for you while taking away from everyone else, you're just an asshole. Like I, I I'm not I, and I will never get behind that. We have so much in society now. We got internet, we t technology like crazy, and people are still trying to take advantage of other people. It just blows my mind. I just rather like, hey, let's benefit everybody within society, and then uh, then we're all good.
Oh, eh, sorry to hear that to you. Yeah, it's just weird because I, I, like I said, I grew up in California in the Bay Area, probably the most like uh, liberal place on the on the planet. <laughs> and then my like, you know, I turned eighteen, my sister turned eighteen, and then my parents like basically threw us out of the house and told us we're on our own. And then they moved across the country to Carolina or South Carolina and said, "Hey." Now we're this, and it's like, what the fuck? When? Since when? <laughs> Since when are you this? And I go, hey, you're welcome to be that, but you're gonna be alone. <laughs> like, I, I hate to like let you know that, but I'm not gonna be there for you. My sister's not gonna be there for you, and your friends in California are gonna be there for you. So they've literally lost every single connection they've had uh, within the Bay Area and and with their kids and. For, you know, it's just like it's like why would you do that for your for some s social obligation that you don't even have to hold? Yeah, and that and that's the thing. There's no obligation for them to hold that, you know, to, to hold that to themselves socially. It just makes no sense. It's like it, it is deeply entwined into their heads. That's the only thing. And it's like if you're if you're that deeply entwined, you are so lost as a human being that you don't deserve to be saved. And I hope uh, I hope you believe in uh, Jesus, because I don't, because that's the same kind of talk. It's like, well, someone, well, I know right, and uh, Jesus. It's like, uh, you know what? I won't even. I won't even dictate it to modern or excuse me to jesus in general it is mostly modern jesus the mo the modern religious tone where it's like everyone has their own ideology of what religion should be or what like the truism should be and everyone's so they're the most like they're the darkest people doing the weirdest shit and then they think they're the holier than thou types and it's just the weirdest thing in my opinion and coming coming from um, a Mormon community, where my my uh, mother's side's from, like seeing seeing people going, "Oh, we're holier than thou," is the weirdest thing in the world. Yeah, I'm. I'm I just want every, everyone to just. Wake up every day and try to be good to any human being that they interact with. Like, I I don't necessarily w even want to interact with a single human being any day I wake up. But it's not, it, that's not the rules. Like, you kind of have to. It's like, if you got a job, if you want to make money, if you want to do anything, you're going to wake up, you're going to go outside, and you're going to interact with people. So whilst interacting with people, hey, you might not like some of those people. You might not. But... You don't have to be a fucking asshole. <laughs> you don't have to be an asshole to them. And you don't have to agree with all their opinions, but you can understand what their opinions are and not fucking throw them under the bus at every every second you get. And it doesn't hurt to not do that. that that's the crazy part. It's like, I feel like the this boomer generation is like, we need to, we need to throw them under the bus or I look like a pussy. It's like, nah, no one sees it that way. <laughs> No one sees you looking like a pussy. No one cares. It's going to be okay. See, and that that's exactly it. It's like that 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 Christian tone of like, "Oh, Hurricane Katrina is because uh Timmy fucked Joe." It's like, "No, you dumbasses. It's because of fucking uh tropical fucking storm going on it's like it has nothing to do with timmy and joe boning each other it's like they can bone each other all day and then like if if mary and tom fucked on tuesday and there's a hurricane wednesday it has nothing to do with them it's like yeah what the hell is that it's just it's just so fucking stupid but it, it's it's like it's like the idea of being warranted to be stupid. Like I again, I don't have any problem with religion as long as the religion is being taken not seriously. Because I don't think you can actually take religion seriously at this point in society. But I think if you take religion as something as a learning tool rather than like a rather than like a a a, a handheld guide that you've got to follow at every right and 
right and wrong. It's like, no, it's sometimes like sometimes you look at the guide and the guide's like, eh, I don't think I'm going to stick my hand in there, uh, learning guide, but uh, I get what you're trying to tell me. <laughs> but a lot of people like to hold it to the T, and I think, I think when you hold things to the T, that's when you get it wrong. Because then you get your own obu obfuscations about things, and that's when you start not being correct. That's when, that's when you get all these, like, different leniencies of the church. Like, oh, there's, like, 20 different districts of the church and 40 different priests that represent each one. It's like, oh, well, no shit no one knows what to follow. It's like everyone's changing their mind on shit. But again, eventually, eventually, all the boomers are gonna die off. It's like it's literally the next twenty, thirty years, and uh, the next generations are gonna have to figure things out without them. And uh, I think that's gonna be, I think that's gonna be a big moment for society, and at least within America. Yeah, not that I'd like to see all the boomers die out. You know, it's like. I love I love my family, but they're fucking idiots sometimes. Like, and, and they're idiots to the point where you can't help them. So, I at the end of the day, it's like, are they are? It's like if you had ground squirrels eating up all your plants, it's like, well, they're just ground squirrels that are trying to eat. It's like no, they're they're kind of a pest upon the rest of us. Yeah, you always got to look at, it doesn't matter if it's a religion, if it's a cult, it's whatever. It's like, you always got to look at it as to what is, what is right for humanity? What is right as, as, for me as a human? And does, does that right as me as a human affect other humans? And if it does, is it positive? And you go, nope. Then you got to stop doing that shit because that's fucked up. <laughs> and if you can't understand that you got to stop doing that shit, then you're an asshole. And I also think that a lot there's a lot of people out there that just kind of need to be called assholes sometimes too. I think that's a that's a very uh, real thing that exists. Because if no one was. No one, if no one was being serious to each other and telling, hey, you're an asshole, then everyone thinks they're being the cool guy, and then you just get a bunch of assholes running around thinking they're cool. And that, that doesn't do any good either. Yeah, I 100% I agree, agree with that. Most people care about themselves and their own view of the world, but their own view should should kind of pan over to what what they want other people's views to be but that's where it gets tricky that's i think that's where the, in, the intense trickery of it becomes because you want other people's views to be like your own but you are not a you are not someone who should dictate other people's views which is unfortunately what a lot of people try to do right now everyone tries to jump on jump down people's throats and dictate what the view of something should be Rather than allowing someone to go like, oh, I see what the view is. Which is, again, it's like why I think there are people that need to be called out. Go, hey, you're kind of a dumb fuck. <laughs> like, no one should be listening to you. No one should be answering to you. You're just kind of a dumbass. Uh, maybe everyone should uh, look to somebody else rather than you, sir. Because we, like, especially... <laughs> Especially in America, we have so many celebrities or uh, just media figures that are just dumb. They're just the dumbest fucking people. And they have, like, huge celebrity-esque follow followings. And they're pitching news or, or just medias that aren't true or just, like, so far from the fact. But they have enough of a following that people will believe that. And it's like, you're not helping. And you're an idiot. And you think you were right. That that is the like the worst thing you could be. 
uh, in a moron with a following that thinks they're right. That, that good God, that's like destruction to society right there. Yeah, we, def we definitely need that, like, level of respect. Because it's like, I can understand that you... Like, I live in California. I live in a big old city. I could understand that someone who's in a rural area wouldn't like certain, you know, laws or, you know, ideals passed upon them. That totally... That 100% that makes sense to me. Hey, I li if I'm living in San Jose or San Francisco in California, I don't think someone in Arkansas living in a rural, like, farming zone... He's going to think the same way as me, you know? But unfortunately, within the United States of America, we're all, like, succumb to the same kind of ideals and the same kind of thinkings and uh, laws. So we kind of get stuck in that similar, uh, hey, this is how you're supposed to think kind of way. way and, and the internet kind of fucked everything, too. The internet was so good until everyone thought that we all had to be the same behind the internet, which is not not exactly how it is. Because I like when people are different. Like I like going, hey, I if I visit another country, it's different. I don't want to go somewhere where it's the same thing that I've experienced in my whole life. That sounds boring. But anyway, before I get rambling too much, I'm gonna hop off. I'm super tired. It is. Almost 10 in the morning and I need to sleep. So uh, I'll probably hop back on for some more uh, GTA RP at some point. But for now, 